What is up, everybody? Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Man, I'm, I'm so pumped about this, this training. Uh, when we were looking at the, the numbers this morning, there's over 600 people uh, registered for this training. There's going to be a lot of amazing, amazing energy coming on here. And y'all, before we get going, we're about, we're about a minute early. We're about a minute early before uh, the official start time. But while people are starting to trickle in here right now, uh, let me know in the comments box. What's up, Anne Marie? What's up, Sheila? Let me know in the comments box uh, two things, okay? Number one, let me know where you're calling in from. What's up, Tyler? Dude, Tyler, uh, I've got your reference in here a couple times, man. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, sharing your book with people, uh, sharing the 261 formula uh, with people, man, big time. Uh, so guys, pop through the comments box where you guys are calling in from. And then number two, are you an agent? Are you an investor? Or are you both? Okay. Are you an agent? Are you an investor? Or are you both? Uh, let me know where you're calling in from. Are you an agent? Or are you an investor? Or are you both? Uh, Anne-Marie, awesome. Anne-Marie says, so happy to be here, y'all. I love it. So guys and gals, once again, wherever you're calling in from, uh, uh, where are you calling in from? Are you an agent, investor, or both? Uh, we got Anne-Marie from Boston here. We've got uh, Peter from NYC. Amazing. Another person from Boston. So we've got a couple Bostonians here. We've got Sheila from Michigan. Uh, what's up, Tyler? Uh, Peter's both an agent and an investor. We call him hybrid here. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a hybrid training uh, sometime in the new year. And we have an amazing release coming out, y'all. Like literally, I got the note from the team this morning that our hybrid template uh, is so, 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 so close. I'm talking like like days away, but you guys will be able to, to check it out uh, in, in the email. Uh, investor, Lisa, what's up, Philip? Investor, uh, awesome. Living in Western Washington, uh, Washington uh, and an agent. Steve, both. Uh, Chicago, both. From Georgia. What's up, Courtney? Courtney from Destin, Florida. Uh, awesome investor. Richard Newport, both. Guys, so there's one really, really cool thing about what we're seeing right here. And this is something we've been talking about for well over two years here at Carrot is the convergence of two industries, right? The convergence. What's up? What's up, Felicia? Uh, Felicia's uh, here at, locally in Roseburg. Um, there's a convergence of two parts of the industry, right? There's a wholesale side and there's the retail side. And we've been trying to drive uh, the two coming together for years. And we're starting to see a lot of that action happening right now where there, there's agents and investors doing both. And that's the ideal, ideal setup. So we're going to have a training coming out on how to do hybrid well sometime in the new year. Uh, what's up, Mike? Mike from, from Boston, guys, all over the place. So what we're going to do right here, guys, is uh, we have people from all over the place, every corner of the of the place. We have people in Roseburg. What's up, Toby? It's right down the road, Irving, Texas. Awesome, y'all. So we're going to dig in here. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here in a bit, but once I've got a couple asks of y'all. Okay, number one, grab some water. Grab some water because I want you to be hydrated with me. I uh, don't want to have to have to have you um, you know, go through and get that brain fog. I know for me, uh, I try to drink for sure at least two of these a day, sometimes three, and it just really gets that brain fog gone, gets me sharp, gets me mental aware. So before we dig into the meat, go grab some water right now. Number two. I want you guys to close all the other tabs on your computer screen, okay? Because if you're going to invest the time with us today, and there's still tons of people piling in here. What's up, Aaron from Portland, a uh, real estate agent. Um, if, if you're going to be investing the time with us right now here today, I want to make sure that you guys are actually getting all, all that you can out of it, okay? If you've got Facebook up over here, or if you're trying to type a bunch of emails over here, you're definitely going to be able to get some of the information, uh, but I think you're going to miss some of the finer points that's going to make this work really, really well for you, okay? And then the last thing is grab a pen and pad or an iPad, whatever, whatever it is that you're going to use. So grab a pen and pad, y'all, because I've got a few different concepts I'm going to walk through. Some of them I've never gone through in any trainings I've ever done. I was sitting there last night going, how do I teach this concept way better? Or how do I teach a new concept better? And I've got some really cool stuff uh, for many of you who have been on lots of our trainings. Uh, some of it's going to be amazingly fresh for you guys. What's up, Rescue Home Buyers from, from, from ah, I can't talk from Renuity Beach. So I'm going to start to share my screen now. And if you guys can pop in the comments box, can you guys see both me and uh, and the screen where it shows free training, shows the slide um, the slide template? If so, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in and uh, can get going on this puppy. So give me a quick double yes in the comments box if you guys can hear me. Uh, and number two, if you guys can see me and the slides over there, I want to make sure everything's working well in your end. And I think I might have made a mistake. I turned the heater on in this room because it was really cold before and I didn't want to, I didn't want to like be shivering during this training and now it's hot. So hopefully that heater turns off here in a bit, but it, it does feel good. Awesome. What's up Sloan? Thank you. So we got some double yeses. So we're going to dive in right now, y'all. 
And um, myself and my team have been really jamming on this training the last couple of weeks. And as we're heading into the new year, I, we're really looking at, you know, what do we want to be able to guide investors? What do we want to be able to guide agents on? And once again, uh, we're going to introduce you to, to Carrot. If this is your first introduction to the company of Carrot, I will we'll tell you who we are, uh, where we came from, how, how, how we help tons of agents and investors. <clears throat> but as we're formulating, looking at 2021, I really feel more convicted now than ever that doing what we're going to be teaching today, going evergreen, putting evergreen content online is going to be needed now more than ever in 2021. COVID has had impacts on that where it's driving up the online searches even more uh, than pre-COVID uh, trends were. <clears throat> We've got other trends where the real estate market is, of course, going to shift sometime soon. It was accelerated a bit by COVID where prices are still really, really high, but I don't think it can stay that way. And so as the market shifts, you have to find ways to stand out as an investor, to stand out as an agent from the other agents or from the other investors or from my buyers. Okay. So we have to make sure that we're doing that. So today we're going to be diving into how to attract more of your favorite clients. Okay. We're not just saying any clients, we're not just saying how to get more leads. Anyone can teach how to get more leads, right? But we're going to be teaching how to get more of your favorite clients by flipping your marketing to evergreen uh, this next year without cold calling without direct mail, without Zillow, without marketing that's burning you out. Now, we're not going to be telling you guys to turn off that marketing if it works. We just want to make sure to shift your mindset around how you think about marketing and make sure that you see this other side of it that can actually give you a better lifestyle, more consistency, more predictability. And this is from data uh, from our own system, over 450,000 leads, mostly seller leads, uh, just this year alone. That's where this information is coming from. <clears throat> and what's up, y'all? What's up, Robert? Uh, give me a double yes. Awesome checking in from North Carolina. Thank you all. This is a really, really good engagement. Keep it up. So <clears throat> you're at the right place, y'all. If you're a real estate agent, a real estate investor, you know, wholesaler, flipper, creative finance, or what we call hybrids. So there's a bunch of hybrids on here doing both. Uh, you guys are ahead of the game. If you're not doing hybrid yet, uh, we, we really suggest that you should be. And we're going to have a training coming out with that uh, towards the beginning of the ne this next year. And if you stay on until the end of this call, we're going to show you how to get a free uh, training suite that we have for hybrids specifically uh, as a part of a cool offering we've got for you guys. Uh, and number two, you see the impending changes in the market and the industry and you want to stand out. Okay. If you don't want to stand out and, and you're just kind of wanting to, to keep it the status quo, then this training is probably not going to be for you. Okay. Because it's not going to be something where you just push a button, you walk away, you don't work at all. And then magically listings or deals pop out of your ears. Okay. This is something that will take a shift in the way you think about marketing, but it's going to set you on a path to more consistency, more predictability, and to build a business that gives you more freedom, okay? And that's what we're after. So if you see that the market is gonna be changing and the industry is changing, and you wanna stand out and grow your income while getting more freedom from your business, then we're gonna help you do that in this call. Okay, and if you've realized the normal ways of marketing, like cold calling, posting on social media five times a day, uh, and keeping uh, are, are keeping you on a continual marketing hamster wheel, and you wanna get off of it in 2021, this is probably a pretty good call for you. So like I said, this is going to be th uh, not theory. None of this is theory at all. It's all real information, real data, real case studies from real clients of ours and or my own real stories from my experience. And so this screenshot here, we're going to reference this screenshot and the data in here several times during this training. Uh, we're going to go deeper into parts of it. But this screenshot here I took yesterday from our Google Analytics account for our customers. And that's going to show you essentially uh, over 459,341 leads as of 9 o'clock a.m. yesterday. So now that's well over 460,000 leads now. Uh, most of those are motivated, motivated house sellers. Many of them are buyers, whether it's retail or cash buyers. Many of them are other types of leads as well, but the majority are motivated house sellers. And we're going to show you what the significance of that orange box around the part that says organic and why that type of a lead source converts double and if not sometimes triple as well as the other types of lead sources that many of you guys and gals are probably using right now. So if you switch over to an evergreen lead source, you can actually work half as, as, as hard uh, as you get that built up and get the same amount of leads or more leads. Okay, guys, this works in every state. Okay, I don't care if you're in Hawaii, I don't care if you're in Oregon, North Carolina, Montana. Uh, we have customers down in South Africa using Carrot with these methods with Evergreen Marketing, the UK, Australia, uh, all over the place. Okay, so there's no place as long as you're in a market that uh, 
uh, that you're listing houses as an agent or you're flipping houses or wholesaling houses as an investor, uh, we can help you guys in those markets. So what I want to do is I want to help you picture this, this, this vision for yourself right now. Okay. When you got into business as a real estate investor, or as a real estate agent, you had this vision, you have this vision still, right? Uh, for where you want to be. And that vision is that future self. Okay. It's, it's the person in the upper right of the slide that's kind of jumping up and down. And for me anyway, and I want you guys to relate, pop it through the comments box. If you guys can relate to any of this and if any of this is a similar to your vision for me, I started business, not because I thought it would be interesting to make a ton of money. That was a part of it, but I thought I could uh, get more freedom by, by owning my own business. Okay. I thought I would be able to have more flexibility. Um, I wanted to be re really be able to build a business that gives me more impact uh, ability in in the in my local um, my local market, and also uh, and, and honestly, I wanted to get momentum. Okay, I felt before I really started started my own businesses, I was in this stagnant state where it didn't feel like I was where I wanted to be in life, and I felt, man, if I can just go out there and start something on my own and add value, I think I can get more momentum. And as entrepreneurs, let me know, guys and gals, in the comments box if you can relate to this. Pop through the comments box box. Uh, can you guys relate? If you're in positive momentum, then you are happy. Okay. If you are in negative momentum or stagnant, then we start to get really restless as entrepreneurs. There's something that creeps up that we can't really place our finger on it. And we start to get restless. You look at shiny objects, you start to maybe even get a little bit depressed. And what I had found is that's directly tied to momentum. Are we moving forward on, on building a life or building a business that's actually going somewhere rather than being on a hamster wheel? Okay, so there's where you are and where you want to be. And what I had found is the big secret to help get there was something that I call evergreen. Okay, and, I, and things weren't always that way for me. I'm going to walk you through kind of my story and how I discovered evergreen marketing, teach you guys exactly how we do it and how tons of our clients get tons of leads through evergreen marketing and actually can get off that hamster wheel. But the big secret to get that life of freedom, flexibility, grow the business that makes a greater impact is evergreen. And so we're going to be talking about evergreen a lot. So I've got a question for you guys. And once again, pop through the comments box if you can relate to this picture right here. So <clears throat> this is a hamster or a guinea pig. I'm not sure what kind of animal it is, but it's something on a hamster wheel. And oftentimes I'll talk to a lot of clients that come in and say, you know what? Um, we're doing good. We're, we're making income, but I'm having to hustle 40, 50, 60, 80 hours a week to make it happen. Or maybe I'm only working 30 to 40 hours a week, but I can never take vacations because if I do, I have to pull away from my marketing, pull away from my business. And then I'm going to come back in three, three weeks or a month. And then my business is going to be tanked because when I stopped that marketing activity, my business stopped with it. And so let me know, guys and gals, pop through the comments box. If any of you can feel, uh, if any of you feel like this right now or can relate to this, do any of you feel like you are on a hamster wheel right now in your business where you're running, 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 you're running hard, you're making progress somewhere, but it's not towards your goals. Pop through the comments box if you can relate. If so, what we want to shift to is once again, evergreen marketing, okay? Uh, evergreen marketing versus hamster wheel marketing kind of looks like this. And we're going to be digging in in much greater detail here throughout the training. But that yellow part of this graphic essentially is how most of us start our businesses or even if we're years in our businesses, we're running our businesses, okay? And there's a bunch of people um, or spending all my money to make money. Yes, 100% guys. So pop, pop through if you guys can relate to feeling like you're on a hamster wheel with your marketing where you've always got to be moving, always got to be moving. And you feel like you can't get off where that hamster wheel throws you off. Okay. Totally relating to this before carrot. Yes. So Tim right there says before carrot. Yes. So stressful. So the yellow part of it y'all is how most of your businesses likely are right now. Okay. You're doing marketing that works. It might be cold calling or direct mail or knocking on doors or whatever it is. It works. It's turning into commissions or closed transactions as an investor. But then you start to see these dips, okay? As soon as you stop that direct mail or as soon as you stop that cold calling, your business goes down a little bit. You ramp it back up. A bunch of calls come in. You've got to go tend to those clients. And so then you forget about the marketing over here. And then a month later, your leads go back down. You're just on this massive hamster wheel, this, this roller coaster ride as an entrepreneur. And I was that way for going on four years. I'm going to tell that story here in a bit and how I got out of it and how we've helped thousands of investors and agents get out of it as well. Um, but we don't want you guys to be in that spot. Because when you're in that spot where you feel like you're on a hamster wheel, you cannot build a business that gives you freedom. Okay, You can't build a business that gives you flexibility and helps you make an impact. And that's part of our core mission here at Carrot is we want to help you guys build those businesses of freedom and impact.
We truly believe that small business is the fuel that helps create change in local economies and in local communities. And if we have a bunch of entrepreneurs who can never pull away from their business to go make that impact or to have the freedom and flexibility to do that or to spend time with your families, how are we ever going to build the communities and lives that we want? Okay, guys, so we want to help you shift to evergreen marketing and get on that green line that goes from frustrated and can't take vacations and this boom and bust in your income to overtime, consistent, predictable growth. All right, guys. So uh, Ruben says, it's all about inbound marketing, brothers and sisters. SEO is everything and learn, learn it the hard way. I love it. Um, yeah, right there. Ro um, uh, Robert says, spend, 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 call, 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 mail, mail, mail. I want sellers calling me. Exactly, man. Exactly. All right. So we're going to dig in more. So what is evergreen marketing? So this is something we uh, started really hot and heavy on this term a couple of years ago, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bring out literally like the Webster's definition for you guys here. Okay. Evergreen, uh, the word evergreen is retaining freshness or interest. It's perennial, right? Universal, universally and continually relevant, not limited in applicability to a particular event or date guys. How much of your guys' marketing pop through the comments box? How much of your guys' marketing is universally and continually relevant? How much of your guys' marketing retains freshness or interest? There's perennial. How much of your guys' marketing is not limited to a particular time or date? Uh, probably not too many people unless you've made this shift with us. In marketing terms anyway, uh, Evergreen essentially is marketing that you do once and it works for years, not hours, not days, not weeks, okay? It's content that's relevant for a long time for your best prospects, your sellers, your buyers, your tenants. Uh, it serves your best prospects really well. Like you're actually serving them well. They love getting your marketing and they chase you down and it gets in front of them where they're actually searching online, okay? So they find you when you do it right. And results are you grow momentum over time, which equals freedom. Okay. So now what's, what's the other side of it? Uh, I just, before we, before we dive to that, I'm going to be using this analogy a lot during this training. Y'all. So uh, I talk about stacking bricks. And so keep that in your mind. The evergreen marketing is like picking up bricks and stacking them and building a brick wall. That's a strong foundation that does the work for you. And so we're going to be uh, bringing that analogy back up later. So what is hamster wheel marketing? Well, the definition of a hamster wheel in Webster's dictionary online is any situation that seems to be endlessly without goal or achievement. How many of you guys and gals pop through the comments box? How many of you, of you guys and gals can, can uh, relate to that? That you're working your butt off in your business. You're, you're earning an income and you're making progress towards something, but it just doesn't feel like there's an end to it. It doesn't feel like you're actually making measurable progress to something that matters to you. You might be making progress on the income side of things. You might be making progress here or there, but you just pull back and you go, man, it just seems like I'm never going to be able to get off of this thing. And if I do, everything is going to be crumbling down. So let me know in the comments box if you can relate. So in marketing terms, uh, hamster wheel marketing is any marketing that works for a short time after you do it, has a limited lifespan, and then you have to do it all over again to keep results coming in. Okay, this is cold calling, direct mail, posting on social media every day, open houses. Results essentially stop when you stop, and this can be stressful. Okay, so we're going to help give you another uh, way out of this. And so this is a new framework that I was working on last night. I want to be able to, to show you the differences between the different types of marketing. And uh, if you guys can right now, pop through the comments box. Has anything resonated with you so far? Put, put uh, a few words in what's resonated with you most so far. And are you guys on the marketing hamster wheel right now? Or are you already on evergreen? Let me know. Are you on the hamster wheel or are you on evergreen? Okay. Uh, what's up, Keith? Keith says I can relate. So momentum, uh, freedom, growth model. On the bottom side of this, we have conversion. So how well does your marketing actually convert into a pay a client that, that is paying you? Okay. Number two, on the left side, we have leverage. Okay. How well does this leverage your time? Okay. So over here on the right side, a high conversion, low leverage, we have one-on-one -on -one selling, door knocking, open houses, things like that. Okay. So they all work. Every single marketing method I'm going to be talking about here works. So I'm never going to be telling you guys, Hey, this doesn't work. Don't do it. I'm just going to say, make sure you know how that's going to be, how that's going to be influencing your lifestyle. Make sure you know how it's going to be influencing you as a human being, uh, and, and whether it's going to be serving you or not. Okay. So that's high conversion. 
but low leverage because you're one-on-one. -on -one. You're standing in front of that person. You're going to be converting a lot of those, uh, but you're not going not to be able to get good leverage on your time. So it's hardly, it's not scalable. Okay. That is hamster wheel marketing at its finest. Over here on the left, you've got high leverage, right? You've got high leverage, but low conversion. So that's sending out mass broadcast emails, that's social media posts, that's radio, TV, that's you know other types of things like that as well, where it's high leverage, SMS, text message marketing, I guess, where you're, me where you're messaging out blasts or something like that, if it's still legal in your area. Um, that's going to be high leverage, but low conversion. So you're going to be able to put 100 or 200 or 50 or 1,000 people into that email, or maybe you have 5,000 people following you on Instagram or, or Facebook. A lot of people are going to see it, but the conversion rate is going to be really, really low. So I see a lot of real estate and the agents, especially leveraging this model, the high leverage, but way low conversion model. So that's why agents are having to post three, four, five, six, eight, ten 10 times a day on Facebook or Instagram in order to get a result because it's high leverage, but really low conversion conversion. So now down over here, you have low leverage, low conversion. Okay. That's cold calling uh, text message marketing on an individual basis. And there's probably other marketing in there as well. Now there's a lot of people on here that cold call probably. And here's the thing, guys, cold calling works. I think it's going to continue to work as long as people actually have telephones and answer telephones or, or return uh, phone calls back. But as you guys know, a lot of people in the millennial generation just flat out don't answer phone calls unless they know who it is. So uh, as, as things uh, start to evolve, you're going to see cold calling get less and less effective. And you're going to have to find ways to get in front of that prospect where they're seeking you out, not you seeking them out. But that's very low leverage, okay? Because someone physically has to make those phone calls. And it's also very low conversion because you're trying to essentially scatter shot on this list that you hope was a targeted list. Okay. So right here, online evergreen content now is high leverage, high conversion. Okay. High leverage, high conversion. And this is perfect. So Felicia posts through right here, closed two deals so far from evergreen content. Thanks to carrot. All right, guys. So high leverage, high conversion. Now, why is it high leverage and high conversion over here? It's high leverage because you're able to put content online and it's able to get in front of hundreds or thousands of people over the course of months and years. And you just have to do it one time. It doesn't require you to go and do that activity over and over again. Okay. Number two, it's high conversion because the content you're putting online is building trust, it's building credibility. It's actually educating them and bringing them further down the decision path to work with you. And hardly any of your competitors are actually putting good content online. So if you guys want to move to the green box, there's only one option is moving towards evergreen content. Uh, let me know guys, where are you guys spending the most amount of your time? Are you guys in the left upper box, the left lower box, uh, the, the right lower box, or right, right upper box. Let me know. Are you high leverage, low conversion, low leverage, high conversion, or, or both? Let me know where you guys are right now. Okay. Uh, COVID has only accelerated this trend to y'all, okay? With COVID, a lot more people have been searching online. A lot more people are looking online for information. A lot less people are getting in person and doing those things. And I think this trend will not stop heading into 2021. So people, you need to get content online, even if you don't, even if you're not doing any of that right now at all. Okay. Uh, look at this guys and gals, Tyler Ford, two deals this month from a profit of 50K from organic leads through Carrot. I love it. I love it. I love it. So conversion. Okay, let's talk about conversion now. Okay. So conversion is two to three times better with your evergreen content. So you can see right here, uh, this organic search of so someone physically doing a Google search, landing on a carrot website. Uh, you can see it's the number two traffic source, a little over 4 million visitors this since January 1st this year on our client sites have landed on their website through an organic Google search. Okay. But this is where it gets crazy is the conversion rate is double, almost triple, uh, email, uh, double, almost triple paid search. So Google ads, uh, uh, about 40 to 50% better than social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Insta Instagram ads. Okay, guys, it's by far the highest converting, the most, uh, the most valuable type of leads. So we're going to dive into how to get more of those and more of the data. So Tyler Ford, who's on this call right here, uh, he sent this to me. I think this was last year sometime, but I took a screenshot of it. And I so enjoy, I so enjoy it because he's in here talking about how he was able to move uh, his, his lead to close ratio in a positive direction. This is motivated house sellers. Okay. So he sent this email a while back. So I've moved from about one in 25 leads to one in 18 leads over the last month. And then he showed a screenshot from the CRM. Okay. So how many of y'all are closing, you know, one in 10, one in 18 sub one in 20 of your leads into a deal 
Uh, you're probably not doing that if it's direct mail. You're probably not doing that if it's cold calling. If it's cold calling, you're probably in the one in 60 to one in 70 leads to a deal range. If it's direct mail, you're probably in the one in 40 to one in, or the one in 20 to one in 40 uh, uh, seller leads to a deal range. Okay. If it's radio and TV, it's probably between one in 60 to one, uh, one in 40 to one in 60 uh, uh, leads into a deal. If it's Google pay or if it's Facebook ads, it's probably somewhere between one in 20 to one in 30 leads to a deal. Okay. If we're talking organic evergreen content, people finding, we're finding on average between, between one in 10 to one in 20 leads into a deal. Let me grab a glass and drink water. Woo, spilling on myself. So then it poses a question, why, why do most coaches, brokerages, gurus teach this then? You know, why, why do most of them, especially in the real estate agent world, why do most teach post on social media three times a day, make a hundred dials a day, you know, farm your friends, family, send out a thousand postcards a month or 5,000, whatever it is, drive for dollars and you'll make six figures. Well, there's one reason they do it because number one, it works y'all. Like once again, I'm not telling you guys not to do this stuff. We're, we're not telling anybody to stop doing something that's working for you and your business as long as it provides the lifestyle that you're looking for. Uh, okay, we're not saying to stop it. If that's the case and these are working, then you can stack on evergreen marketing so you then have a choice in the future that you can stop some of these. Okay, that gives you optionality. But why is it that so many real estate agents uh, are being taught uh, to post on social media all the time? Why is it that so many uh, real estate investors are being taught just jam on cold calling? That's going to save you forever. Well, it works once again, but it's going to be buying you into a lifestyle and into a business that you might grow to despise. You know, if our dream as entrepreneurs is freedom and impact, like I talked about a little bit, a little bit ago, how will that type of marketing ever get us there? You know, it's like, how will that type of marketing that puts us on a continual ham ham hamster wheel ever get us to freedom and impact? Or will it just keep us on the perpetual hamster wheel until we burn out or quit? You know? So here's the reality for most agents and investors right here. So first impression property says, oh my gosh, you stole this slide from my broker. That's the thing, right? I'm not going to say it doesn't work. It totally works. But what happens is it buys you in for the lifetime of you as an agent into the hamster wheel business mode. You cannot get true freedom and flexibility doing that way. So it's a great way to start. It's a great way to, to add on things in your business. But that, but I am uh, going to make a case for building evergreen marketing as the core of your business. And then you use those other types of marketing just whenever you want to add on extra stuff. So here's the reality for most agents and investors, y'all. And I was looking uh, through and I found a study on playster.com and it said over half, 53%, uh, of agents say that they work the same hours or longer today than they did the, their first year. Uh, so as I'm going through these guys, I want you guys to, to pop through if you relate to this. Okay. How many of you guys are working the same or more hours today than you did your first year in business? Number two, of all the activities and practices agents spend on uh, spend time on marketing and advertising, take the cake. 62% of agents say they devote uh, at least an hour a day to marketing th themselves and their listings. Uh, next came prospecting lead gen. You know, 60% of agents say they prospect on a daily basis with more than a quarter or 26% devoting several hours a day finding leads. You guys, several hours a day finding leads. And the thing is, that is never going to end. You're always going to have to be doing that unless you're doing it in an evergreen way. Okay. But if you're not doing it in an evergreen way, you have to be spending several hours a day prospecting every single day for the rest of your life as a real estate agent in order to try uh, to keep that income going. And so that's why I want you guys to really look hard at the way you do your marketing because your marketing directly influences the lifestyle that you're going to have. 31% of agents uh, spend more than $1,000 uh, on marketing per year. Investors uh, are a lot better in that stat. They, they, a lot more investors spend well more than $1,000 per year on invest or, or on, on marketing. Okay. But now this stat is really interesting. So the, the last two really pair together. Well, only 31% of agents spend more time, uh, more than 1k on marketing per year, but 33% were able to support themselves and their families within the first year. Do you guys see a commonality there? The ones who actually spent money on marketing were actually the ones who were able to support their families. And so we want to help you guys to make sure you're spending uh, money on the right type of marketing. Okay. So open your eyes to evergreen marketing, uh, <clears throat> why it's a crucial, a crucial shift. That's one of my primary goals. Number two, if you're an experienced pro, I want to show you how to replace Zillow, cold calling, uh, the other types of marketing or add on to those and grow more momentum with evergreen marketing, kind of get you off that hamster wheel that, that, that might be wearing you out. 
Okay. If you're a beginner, I want to show you how to stand out in a sea of competition, uh, get that momentum going uh, against all the other competitors and really start to win more deals because you can totally do it. We've got to do something different than what other people are doing. And number three, if you're an agent and investor, we're going to talk a little bit about how to add a hybrid to your model to increase your profits by 30 to 50% with no extra leads at all. Okay, so heading into this next market cycle, if you really want to maximize your leads, if you really want to maximize your income uh, in exchange for the amount of work you're putting into it, hybrid is the way to make it happen. We're going to briefly talk on it today. But some of the other things I want to really drive home on this training, I want to give you confidence in the future. I want to give you confidence that the path that you're choosing forward is going to help you grow the life that you want to grow. Okay. That's what we're talking about here. It's not about just getting more leads. You can go to any training out there that's going to walk you through and show you how to get hundred Facebook buyer leads this week. Okay. We have trainings on that too. There's going to be any training out there that's going to show you how to get a gazillion leads. We're not talking about getting a gazillion leads. We're talking about getting the best leads that are going to close at a higher percentage, be a higher margin, be more fun to work with and give you more confidence. Number two, I want to help you build a highly lucrative and consistent business that you can count on when it's fun and easy. Uh, that's Brady on my team. I uh, was wearing the carrot costume when we were shooting this video. And guys, I want to make business fun. It's one of our core values. I want you guys to do the same thing. And one of the reasons we can make business fun is because our business is built off of evergreen marketing. Okay. We can pull back. I took a, a month vacation in July and the business actually grew while I was gone because of evergreen marketing. Okay. I want your business to be fulfilling. I want you to be fulfilled in your business, not wore out. Okay. So a little bit about me uh, before we dive into the meat and potatoes here. So uh, this is my family and I, uh, my beautiful wife, Carly. We actually went to high school together, got married shortly after college. And uh, we've been together ever since. And I've uh, got three little kids, uh, Colton there on the left, our boy, Sydney, our youngest and McKinley. And we're at the, the lake house that we spend some time at every summer. Uh, over here is my second family. Okay, this is my carrot family. And uh, this is the most recent picture of our team uh, pre-COVID. So we haven't had a team photo since, uh, shoot, almost a year now. And so our team's much bigger than this now. We're about 40 full-time people uh, serving you know, thousands and thousands of real estate investors and agents across the country. And we've been fortunate enough to be one of the fastest growing companies in America uh, three years in a row because of the way that we do marketing, because we do evergreen marketing. And it's the exact same thing I'm teaching today to you guys is exactly what we do in house uh, to grow our own business. And so my own journey, y'all, my own journey uh, probably parallels many of your journeys here. So um, <clears throat> I got out of college and I just, I decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can hack it and make this entrepreneur thing work. I'm going to see if I can, you know, go out there and find a way to make it work. I'm going to try to figure out how to do marketing and I'm going to try to make it work. Okay. I bought my first rental property when I was 21 years old, just straight up creative finance, none of my own money, uh, literally Carlton sheets kind of stuff. I got his course and used it and executed it and bought my first property when I was in college. And I said, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to set out to be an entrepreneur. And I gave myself a full year after college to try to figure it out. And over the next two to three years, I, I just went down the rabbit hole massively on learning about marketing, about online marketing, about how to create content online that would attract people. And I started to get people to my websites from content I was physically sitting down and writing. And then they'd be on the sites. I'm like, amazing. And now that they're here, how do I actually get them to convert into a lead? And so that led down a whole rabbit hole over about six or seven years of learning how to do conversion rate optimization and make a website perform amazingly well and how to really uh, craft content in a way and do search engine optimization in a way to where my best possible prospects found me online rather than me having to find them. Okay. But before I learned all those skill sets and really honed them in, uh, I had ran a couple businesses that were doing really, really well financially. I launched one of them in 2008. Uh, we, we were earning you know, mid to low six figures a year. And from the outside in, everything looked amazing, right? Like beautiful wife, beautiful family, uh, a good income uh, you know, you know, as a mid 20 something year old guy. Um, just so grateful for that opportunity. But you know what, guys? I was completely wore out and burnt out. Okay. Around 2010 or 11, I remember, I remember laying in bed after my wife went to work. She's a, she's in the medical field. Uh, she went to work. She dropped our, our new baby at that time, McKinley. Uh, she was born that year off at the babysitter and I was supposed to be working that day. And I remember laying there in bed, staring at the ceiling at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, just going, I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to get out of bed to do the work 
uh, in the business that I have created for myself. Um, all the work that I, I was doing, it felt like I was just not really going anywhere. The work that I, would, I was doing wasn't firing me up. It wasn't building energy. It wasn't something that was stacking bricks and, and going to be uh, uh, fruitful for a long period of time. It felt like it was a one and done thing. And we had to do it over and over and over again every single month, every single week to try to find new business so we'd have paychecks the next month. And around 2012, I, I kind of stewed on that for two full years, not knowing what to do. I kept on dabbling in things. I got shiny object syndrome. I invested in a couple of companies. Two of them failed. Um, I, I did some other things. I started consulting. I'm like, I just want to try anything at all that gets me out of this perpetual hamster wheel that's just making me miserable in my own business. What I didn't know was this, y'all. What I didn't know was my, the marketing that we were doing in my company was the exact thing that was putting me in that perpetual hamster wheel, stressing me out and making me so I just was was depressed uh, at, at a level that 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 I just had never ever thought that I would ever get to. Okay, and so I remember coming across something where someone challenged me. They said, what you need to do is you really need to trim down the things in your life, focus on something like focus on one main thing and pull back and really write what you want. Like, what do you want out of your business? What do you actually want your business to do for you? And so I sat there with a piece of paper and I'll show you my non-negotiables here in a second, but I sat there with a piece of paper and I said, man, I don't really know what I want my business to be. I don't, I don't really know what, what I want my business to do for me. Uh, and so I said, well, one of the best ways to find out what I do want is to write down what I don't want. Okay. So I want you guys to grab a piece of paper right now. And I want you guys to start writing down some things here and I'll show you what mine looked like. Okay. And one of the things I wrote down was, um, I, I don't want a business that's inconsistent anymore. It's stressful. I have a young family, you know, where I, I have a wife. I just, I did not want my business to look this way. I want it to be consistent and predictable. It was completely inconsistent, and unpredictable. Number two, is I said, you know what, my business just wasn't fun anymore. I want my next business to be fun. Okay. Number three, I said, you know what, I really want to make sure I'm building an actual asset. All the work I'm doing, it feels like I'm just hamster wheel, churn and burn. I'm not really building any asset. If something happens to me, um, what's going to happen with my family? I didn't leave them with anything that was sustainable. As soon as I passed away or as soon as something happened to me, all that in income would disappear. Okay. And so I said, okay, I want to build something that's long-term valuable asset that something could happen. And in that moment, I sat down and looked at, at the different things in my business. And I said, what types of things were we doing in my previous businesses that were giving me more consistency, that were giving me more predictability? And the funny thing was, we started to look down the, the different marketing that we were doing. And although 80% of our business came from heavy, heavy hamster wheel marketing, okay, cold calling, sending out direct mail, doing other types of things. I looked at that 20% and we said, whoa, why is that 20% so consistent? We barely touched it this year. It was work we did last year, y'all. We had put content up last year that people were still finding in Google, that people were still going through buying our products. And, we, and I looked at that and I said, what if I just shifted my entire business model to that? What if I just ditched all the stuff that was 80% of my business and just went all in on the 20% thing? Could that actually be something that built into my ideal business? And so I wrote down right then, I said, I want consistency and predictability in my world. And I started to, started to picture this, this concept of hamster wheel versus evergreen. I started to make that marketing mindset shift eight years ago uh, that changed everything for me. And so in that moment, I knew something had to change. So I wrote down what I call my non-negotiables. I, I highly suggest... Uh, you guys, guys, can you hear me? Pop through the comments box if you can hear me. Uh, Louise says she can't. Just want to make sure it's on, uh, not on, not on my end. Can you guys hear me? Hey, hey, hey. Let me know if you guys can hear me. One sec. Un momento. Uh, one sec, guys. Can you guys hear me? Check, 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 check. Let's see. Audio. Yeah. Audio is good. Good. Okay, cool. We'll get back to it. Sweet. <clears throat> so my non-negotiable guys, gals, this is what it ended up being. Okay. And you'll see the two that I pointed out with an arrow were the ones that came from my marketing. I want a consistent, consistent predictability. I wanted to build a long-term valuable asset. And I took that learning that I, that I carried forward from that previous business. And I said, I'm no longer going to build my business off of hamster wheel marketing. I'm going to fully build my business off of evergreen and see how to do that. And I can tell you what guys, it's completely changed my life. And we've been doing the same thing with thousands of our carrot customers as well. Okay. So we want to help you guys. <clears throat> we want to help you guys make the exact same shift. So action item before, between now and the end of the year, right? Write down the things that you do not like about your business right now and then pick the opposite of that 
for what you do want your business to do and write non-negotiables, do three to five non-negotiables or these non-negotiables, your business will 100% all of the time have to match these or you'll change your business or get rid of it uh, because this is what's going to serve you in your life. Okay, guys. So I went all in on mastering evergreen marketing and you're going to see this graphic a lot as we go throughout the rest of the training. And you can see how I drew little bricks in here. Evergreen marketing is essentially kind of like stacking bricks. It starts with just one piece of content. Then you add another then you add a couple more, then you add a couple more. And it might not seem like a lot in that first month or two months or three months, but as you go, those bricks keep on stacking and it ends up building massive momentum which where the results then come back to you. And we're going to be talking about <clears throat> uh, Tyler's 261 formula here in a bit <clears throat> that can help you guys wrap around a mindset on how to better do evergreen marketing. So over that next several years, after I made that decision, we started Carrot and I had a bunch of consulting clients I was driving leads for. I discovered the hard way to do everything I'm going to teach you today. I discovered the hard way to build a website, the hard way to build what I now call an authority hub. And I've been doing this for the past 10 years. Essentially, I've got to come up with my own strategy, right? Then I've got to hire a web guy, which costs a few thousand bucks. Then I've got to write the content, which is another maybe a thousand or so. Then I've got to hire the SEO firm to do the SEO for me and buy the plugins for the WordPress thing and then get web hosting. You got to get good web hosting. You can't get the crappy $10 a month stuff. That's not going to be reliable. You've got to then fix the hacker exploits for the, cause that, that, that overseas hacker hacked your thing. Now you got to go to Upwork to get someone to fix it. Uh, All together, it's going to be somewhere around $5,000 to $16,000 to do it right. And that's what I was spending to all these different service providers to help me do this right before. And then I said, you know what? I think there's an opportunity here to help a lot more people do the same thing that I figured out works so well. And that's when we eventually created Carrot in late 2013, launched it officially in 2014 to simplify the process for myself. And now, now today our clients are collectively generating more than 72,000 uh, opt-in leads per month, every single month online. That doesn't include any of the phone call leads. And there's more six and seven figure members in our system than any other online real estate platform as far as the inbound side of it goes, y'all. Okay, so uh, we're gonna dive in now to the training and I wanna answer tons of your questions as we go, all right? So uh, we've helped tons of other people do the exact same thing that I talked about that we've done with our businesses and others. You know, Tyler Ford, who's on this call right now, uh, he's been on the carrot cast several times and he went from, you know, getting ready to give up his business to really thriving Max Maxwell, a big influencer in the industry. When he started with carrot, he was literally a brand new investor. hadn't done any deals. Uh, Krista May Shore, uh, one of the top, if not the top real estate broker in Brentwood, California, Brad Chandler, uh, guys, before you guys knew of express home buyers taking over the internet, we were the people who crafted the plan and executed the plan for him that first year. Uh, Christina Kudlock, she came to the last carrot camp, an amazing investor down in Los Angeles doing multiple deals a month just with evergreen marketing. Adam Mitchell just had him on the podcast. He's down in Dallas, uh, one of the most saturated markets in the country, came in there and is crushing it into half a million dollars this year alone with a full-time job, still 100% through carrot. And then Mr. Adrian Nez, who's one of our first 100 customers, and now we're fortunate enough to have him to be coaching uh, tons of our, uh, of our of our customers. Four million leads later, y'all, we found some things that work. So who's ready to commit to shift into evergreen marketing in 2020, y'all? Pop it through the comments box. Who's ready to make this shift into evergreen marketing? Uh, pop through the comments box. So I'm going to walk you through the four secrets to track more of your favorite clients by flipping your marketing to evergreen in 2021. Uh, the first secret is the 261 formula for evergreen marketing success. Uh, like I said, uh, we're going to be bringing Tyler on a slide here showing how he came up with the 261 formula that's helping so many people. Uh, that's going to help you wrap your head around how this works. Number two, uh, why a normal website isn't enough anymore, y'all. If you just have a normal website or broker provided website, I can promise you uh, you're going to be suffering in 2021, 2022. So how Carter added $20,000 a month in extra profits by shifting from a fancy custom site to an authority hub and why your social media profile should never be the hub of your content. I'm talking to you real estate agents. Okay, uh, guys, your hubs should not be your social media profiles. Uh, secret number three, two ways carrot can automate your evergreen marketing content uh, in under 20 minutes a week to start replacing that hamstrung marketing over time. And then secret number four, how to grow uh, to three motivated leads per day uh, with our 12 month momentum marketing plan. All right. So secret number one, y'all and awesome guys. I love it. So uh, Robert says, let's go. We got a bunch of let's go here, here. I love it guys. Yes, please. Let's go. Beautiful. So secret number one, 
uh, the two, six, one formula for evergreen marketing success. So I mentioned before Tyler Ford, and he's been on uh, many podcasts. You know, we reference him on these because number one, he's one of the most amazing people. Uh, number two, he just has executed the plan so well and even improved uh, the plan. And we're going to show you what he had come up with that he shared on a podcast with us recently. So <clears throat> when I first met Tyler, uh, man, this is several years ago, I got an email from a guy you know, saying, um, you know, hey, I'm going to be in the area and uh, I live in Oregon. He lives in Arizona. OK, he said, I'm going to be in the area. You know, can I swing by and visit you in the office? And I said, well, shoot, if that guy you know, from from that far away is going to be here. And I don't, I don't think he was a customer of ours at that time. Or maybe if you were Tyler, you were just like just dipping your toes in. But um, at the end of the day, y'all, he ended up driving up uh, from Arizona to Oregon uh, to spend about a half a day or a day with us. And uh, we come to find out later that it was really to do due diligence. Okay. He was getting ready to hang up, hang up his hat after 20 years in real estate because a bunch of competition was coming into the market because his marketing that he was doing before just was not working as well. His previous website was ranking well, but it wasn't converting well. And he was starting to get his, his income and profits whittled away. And so this was kind of his last ditch, ditch effort. He said, I'm going to give it one last shot. I'm going to go all in. Let's see if this works. And this is a quote from him on that first podcast we had him on. He said, my goal for the year was 200K in profits. And I've already almost surpassed that in the first quarter of the year. He said, you're right when you said I wasn't thinking big enough. And uh, guys, Tyler is an EXP agent. So if you guys are in the Arizona area, especially Tucson, and you want to get into EXP, hit up Tyler Ford, just Google him. Tucson, you'll find him. Uh, go, go, go work with him on the EXP side. And he's also an active investor doing multiple deals a month. 100% from his evergreen marketing. And so as he dove in and started to innovate with and for us, we started to find some things or he started to find some things that worked really well. And so he gets really consistent leads through his platform on his multiple websites, both buyer leads, seller leads, the whole thing. This is a screenshot from inside of the carrot lead manager. And this is essentially the 261 formula at the highest level. But what I want you guys to do is he actually has a book that you can find on Amazon. Okay, we'll pop through the we'll pop through the name of the book in the comments section. But Google Tyler Ford book, and you'll probably find his book on Amazon where he walks through this concept even deeper. Okay, and essentially it's this: in that first two months, y'all, you're going to be putting in a good bit of work. Okay, you're going to be really building out that authority hub. You're going to be doing the things to build credibility on your site, starting to get some of the content we're going to teach you how on uh, today to get on your website. And you might even be spending some money to drive some paid traffic in the short term while your evergreen builds up. But there's a lot more work, a lot more heavy lifting that first two months. Okay. This is my estimate. Carl, uh, uh, Tyler probably has a really good estimate on his end. But in that first two months, you're going to be spending you know, probably several hours a week on really building this up or hiring, uh, hiring someone else out to do that. Okay. But then after the two months, you're going to start to see uh, things really start to hit around that six month mark. And a lot of people will get kind of discouraged around month three, month four, month five, when they've been executing the evergreen marketing plan. They're like, man, I'm just not really getting results. And it's just like that brick wall, right? If you saw the pile of bricks over there and you have this vision to build this wall, okay, a pile of bricks is not a wall. You've got to physically grab each brick and stack it and put the mortar on and grab another brick and stack it and put the mortar on. And eventually you're going to have one row of bricks and your hands are going to be dirty and it was heavy and it was a lot of work. But if you stop at that one row of bricks, that, that's not going to be a wall. It's not going to do anything for you. You just wasted all of your time and energy building a one, one row, a one, one height brick wall that isn't going to do a darn thing for you. Instead you go, okay, I've got the vision for a brick wall. I've got the vision for what this wall is going to do for me. It's going to be solid. It's going to be stable. It's going to be there for a long time. It's going to do the work for me, holding this house up. And I'm just going to keep stacking bricks with us. Stacking bricks is content pieces. And I'll show you guys what that means here in a bit. And we make it really easy for you to do here at Carrot. So as you're stacking those up, they take a little bit of time to start to get momentum. But then around the six to nine, nine month mark, you're going to start to see a little bit of a sprout. You're going to start to see some of that result come in. And then around the one year mark is when you start, start to see really consistent results as long as you're executing the plan. Okay. And the, the workload is kind of like the inverse of it. Okay. The workload is kind of like the inverse of it, where if you look on the left side of this, the results, of course, take some time to build up if you're talking just the evergreen side of it, if you're not doing any paid marketing, okay? But then on the other side of it, your workload actually goes down. Now, compare that against 
hamster wheel marketing. So I put this little gray dotted line here that kind of represents the workload for hamster wheel marketing, the marketing that probably most of y'all are probably doing right now. Okay, that right there, your workload is going to go up and going to go down based on your energy, based on the time, based on, you know, whatever, based on you went on a vacation, based on you got wore out, based on something worked and then it stopped working, whatever it is. But it's never going to stop, y'all. It's never going to stop. Okay. The only way it's going to stop for you is if you build a team and hire people to do the hamster wheel marketing for you, which is totally relevant and something you should probably look at doing. But this right here, that workload goes down over time and it creates freedom. Hamster wheel uh, marketing workload stays the same over time and doesn't. Okay. So take a picture of that, upload it to Instagram, uh, hashtag evergreen marketing, tag me in it, trevor.mock. Uh, what I'm going to do guys and gals, whoever takes a picture of this graphic uploads it on Instagram or Facebook with the hashtag evergreen marketing, and then tags me to it, trevor.mock. I'm going to be giving away, uh, one of Tyler's books to the, uh, uh, uh to the, uh, first five people that I see do that. And I'm also going to be giving away uh, some really cool carrot swag to the first five people who do that. All right, guys. So evergreen marketing hashtag, uh, let's take a screenshot of this bad boy, put it up on Instagram and tag me to it uh, so I can find you guys. All right. So many people will be tempted around that three month, four month, six month, eight month, nine month mark to go back to Hampshire marketing because you're not getting the momentum you want to get in, in evergreen. And I'm going to tell you guys, don't do it because you're going to be making that decision to keep on that path forever. And so I'm asking you this question, is your current marketing building momentum or keeping you on the hamster wheel? I want you guys to pop through the comments box right now. Is your current marketing keeping you on the hamster wheel or is it building momentum? And I want to ask you this question, this really pointed question. How disciplined are you being on giving up short-term hits for long-term freedom? Are you really focusing on, man, this opportunity popped up in front of me and I'm going to do that versus stacking those bricks for the long term? How many of you guys are disciplined in that right now versus just taking the opportunity uh, in the short term and, and um, sacrificing your long term happiness in business? OK, Anthony, great question, man. Anthony says, should agent investors have uh, two websites? We'll talk about that on the on the hybrid side of it uh, towards the end of this call. And we'll answer that question. All right, man. Great question. So uh, I want to I want you guys to picture yourself in a year. Where do you want to be? You know, what changes do you need to make in your marketing? And really like literally picture yourself 12 months from now, looking back, look at, look at where you are in life. Look at your business. What does that business look like? Okay. What is, what is your, what does your average day look like in that business? Are you working 40 hours a week? Are you working 10? Are you working 80? Um, how is it different than what your current business looks like? What your current life looks like? Okay. And I want to ask you a question. What changes do you need to make right now today? Okay, what changes do you need to make today to put yourself in a spot one year from now that you're going to look back and go, man, that was an amazing year. That was an amazing year. What change do you need to make today to, to make that shift? If you're working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, if you're doing tons of hamster wheel marketing, you're not building a foundation, you need to make a change today. You need to become convicted to change the way you think about marketing and stop letting people shove down your throat a way of marketing that is suitable for them. Your, your broker that you're working with as an agent, they're telling you to cold call all day because it's not them doing it, right? Like you, They are outsourcing it to you because they don't want to do it. Okay. Maybe some of them are doing it, but then I would look at their life and say, do I do, are they living the life that I would want? If they're not, then go cool. Well, I don't want to do what they're doing then. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't want to live the life that they want or that they have. Okay. How amazing will it feel to live that life? Y'all how amazing. All right. Secret number two, uh, why a normal website isn't enough in 2021 and how, how, how Carter added 20,000 a month and new profits by shifting from a fancy custom site into an authority hub. And guys, especially agents, why your social media profile should never be the hub of your content. That's going to keep you in hamster wheel forever if, you're, if your Facebook or Instagram is your primary hub for, uh, for that. Okay. So the biggest mistake most agents and investors make with their websites is they get overboard. They go overboard creating a really professionally designed site uh, based on what they, what they think looks good. You're not really what prospects are going to respond to. And that's really common with real estate agents, especially because agents want it to look pretty, right? But oftentimes pretty does not equal performance. And so I'm going to walk you guys through some things that you can do and show you some examples of what an authority hub looks like versus just a standard website. Okay. A lot of people are using their Facebook or Instagram pages as the main content hub. Like I said a few times, that's going to keep you in hamster wheel because as soon as you post 
that video up there, that post in Facebook, it's only going to be there really for 72 hours and it gets pushed down the feed and you've got to continually post stuff up, up in there. People really aren't going to continually find that information that you posted last week. They're not going to find it next year. Okay. So you always have to be posting. It's a steady stream, a steady commitment for you forever in order to get that result. Instead, we're going to show you where to put that content on your authority hub on your website. Okay. So it's going to be there forever for your clients to build momentum, to get really, really consistent leads and deals. Okay. A lot of people do just whatever they, whatever's low cost or free, you know, Wix, your broker provided site. You think oh, I've got a site. It's my broker site. It's good. All sites are created equal. Answer is no. And we're going to show you how many leads and deals you're likely losing every single year because of that thought. Okay. Um, next is then uh, that fail that site fails to generate leads or fails to rank, and it's just a glorified on online brochure. Okay, or they just build a website for online marketing versus a true hub. Like on, a, they're just going to drive Facebook ads to it. Okay, and then they, they're still uploading all their content to Facebook or to YouTube, but they're completely forgetting about the most motivated possible prospects online, which is the ones who are going to Google and actively searching out to try to solve their problems. Okay. So we're going to dive in right here. The only thing that matters is performance. Uh, Tony Robbins. I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins. Guys and gals, is anyone on here, a Tony Robbins fan, a uh, pop in uh, on the comments box. Uh, Marie says I'm a mar marketing is stagnant. As long as I know what to do, then I'm, then I'm motivated. Awesome. Uh, Roger builds momentum over the long run with relationships. hundred percent for sure. Roger. I love it. Uh, Philip Hammy, the hamster wheel. <laughs> awesome, man. Um, there's some really good questions. Uh, Robert, uh, Roger, you know, that's a really good question. I'll answer here in a bit. Uh, as far as uh, what some agent comp uh, agent website company tells you looks good. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So Tony Robbins said this, if you want to be successful, find someone who has achieved the results you want and copy what they do and you'll achieve the same results. So once again, this goes back to the question of who is asking you to do um, that type of marketing? Who's asking you to do the cold calling? Who's asking you to do that stuff? Okay, then I would ask, I would ask you, are they the type of person that has achieved the results you want and living the lifestyle you want? If so, awesome, model the heck out of it, okay? If not, go, okay, that's, that's knowledge. I'm gonna accept it. And now I'm gonna go look at something else to see if anything else can better fit my needs. So I'm gonna show you some things that you guys can model right now. Okay, Carter Steph, he's a real estate investor and agent. He's the largest home buyer in Oklahoma City, and he owns a pretty darn big brokerage as well. And he's been branching his brand, 1 800 to sell homes out across the country with other uh, investors and agents. And he said, since switching to Carrot uh, from his custom site, the leads are converting to purchase at a much higher level. And this is an email that he sent to me. He said, we couldn't be happier with the site so far. What we have seen is a dramatic increase in web leads. Since switching to Carrot, the leads are getting the, we, the leads we are getting are converting to purchases at a much higher level. Things have been moving so fast that we haven't had the opportunity to accurately determine the lead to purchase ratio, but I would estimate it's in the 25 to 35% range, which means the leads we're getting are significantly better than our historical average. Okay, thanks for everything. And, and we're now looking at expansion because of the success we've had, guys. So here's the deal. They were struggling to make online work. We made we helped make them online work. Now they expanded into multiple markets and took their model uh, in other spots. So here's what Carter's website looked like before Carrot. And most everyone would look at this and, and they're going to go, man, this site looks great, right? It's got, it's got an opt-in box. It's got the picture. It's got the stuff. It looks good, right? Um, but the problem was, guys and gals, this website was costing him over $200,000 a year in lost profits. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. This website, and this is just a basic screenshot of the top of his website, it's not the whole thing, okay? Uh, same thing with this one over here. This website was costing him over $200,000 a year in lost profits. Once he came into Carrot, we said, okay, let's turn yours from a website to an authority hub that builds better credibility, that gives people the opportunity to click around and learn about you, that has, that has the right content, that, that squashes objections. And we're going to be able to increase your lead to close ratio in addition to your visitor to lead ratio. One of the keys for Carter was a lot of his marketing was offline. He was a big radio and TV guy because he hadn't figured out how to make online work well at that point. And so he was putting a ton of money into radio and TV and people would be Googling the name of their company because they saw the commercial. They'd, they'd be Googling their phone number or even Carter's name and landing on the website. And their old website looked pretty, but it didn't convert the majority of the people who were landing there. And so all of your offline marketing for you guys is the same thing. If you guys are doing cold calling, if you guys are doing direct mail, if you guys are doing radio, TV, direct networking, all of your offline marketing, y'all, is creating online demand. 
to that direct mail piece you sent, they're going to Google the phone number on it. They're going to Google the company name on it. Okay. That SMS, uh, text message or phone call, cold call. Uh, how many people in the past month have seen a phone number uh, pop up on your, on your cell phone that you didn't recognize, so you didn't answer the call. And then they called you twice and then you're like, who the heck is this? And then you go Google that phone number to see who the heck they are. And then, and then what pops up is a whole page of like scam call stuff because it's a tracking phone number they're using. Guys, you are looking the exact same way to your prospects. Okay. You guys are looking the same way. Yep. Guys, it, it's, it's recorded for sure. You guys are looking the exact same way for your prospects. If you guys have phone numbers that you're using that are tracking phone numbers, people are Googling you. They're going online. My question is, are you showing up with an authority hub that's going to close more of them into deals or just a simple website that looks good that's losing tons and tons of money for you? Okay, You're, you should be doing marketing that attracts. Your authority hub should be converting and then your follow-up should be closing. All right, guys. Uh, pop through some questions here if you guys have any questions. So this is what an authority hub is right here. All right. This is what an authority hub. Um, and uh, I, I'm going to walk you through this. This is the first time that I've really taught this in detail. Um, and this is something we're going to be doubling down big time on in the, in the, in the new year here. Okay. So the first thing is we want to have you start to shift from a website to an authority hub mentally, because most people's websites pretty much kind of like what I'm showing on the screen. It's got a homepage. It's got a place for them to put information and maybe a couple links to click here or there. And that's pretty much it. Or if you're, if you're using a funnel software or something like that, that's probably pretty much what it is. It's just a website. Okay. And it's going to be uh, converting a lower amount of the people that they should be, especially on the second and third visit. So what we, what we started to do in pioneer really well about six or seven years ago is we said, well, let's, let's rather than using squeeze pages to send motivated sellers to or cash buyers to as the primary spot, uh, what if we started to make a little mini website? where they we, they were encouraged to click around, where there was a, an about page that told about the person. There was a how it works page that walked through the process really well, that there was other pages that walked you through exactly who this person is, how they can help you and built the credibility or what I now call the core conversion pages. I'm taking my coat off y'all. I should not have turned the heater up one degree. It's hot in here. Okay. So basically those core conversion pages, you kind of only need to build once. You build them once, you you write it, and then you just kind of update them as you as you need. You add new testimonials, you update your about page. Okay. This right here is what most people's websites look like. Now, probably about five years ago, we said, well, let's double it down. And how do we actually help you not just convert more people from your paid traffic or from one or two keywords, but how do we help you actually attract a lot more of the ideal prospects that, that, that you could actually help with their uh, with your service? And so we launched what we call location pages or niche pages. And if you were to Google any phrase in the market, like sell my house fast, insert any city in the country. Okay. I sell my house fast, insert any city in the country. Okay. Uh, you're probably going to find somewhere between three and eight carat sites controlling page one in Google. Okay. So we nailed that. We nailed the strategy. We nailed the software. We nailed the training. The system enables you to make that way easier for you. Okay, you guys are controlling the conversation there. And with, with location pages, what we suggest is that's more like a quarterly thing. Okay. Every single quarter when you're pulling up for your, your marketing plan, pull back and say, all right, are there any new markets we're wanting to go into? Or do we want to go deeper in this area <clears throat> as a real estate agent? We want to do these neighborhoods or whatever. And then build somewhere between three and you know, three and ten uh, niche location pages every quarter. If you do that, you're stacking those bricks over time. Stacking bricks. Okay, everybody can build three of those a quarter. That's one a month, y'all. It's only going to take like an hour to do it. Okay, one a month. Okay, if you if you did ten a quarter, you're talking like three a month, y'all. Guys, that's less than one a week. Everybody can pull out an hour, hour and a half, less than once a week. Okay, you guys can do that. It's just how, how committed are you to making evergreen marketing work? And then the third part that we really started ramping up probably three years ago <clears throat> was the more consistent, what we call authority content. Okay. Authority content is where it's at the next two, three, four, five years. Uh, that along with the niche pages are going to be absolutely crushing it. All right. <clears throat> so your authority content, we're going to be teaching you guys about this here in a little bit, but that ideally we want you to be posting weekly. Okay. Every single week, at least one to two robust content driven articles that your ideal prospects are interested in, that they're searching online, that they'll find you, build trust and credibility for you on Evergreen, on autopilot and become a lead. <clears throat> now you guys are probably saying, well, I don't have time for this. Well, I'm going to be showing you guys here in a bit how Carrot can automate or almost all, almost automate the entire section number three. Okay. Take it from two to three hours a week down to literally less than 20 minutes a week with some of our tools that we're going to be going into in this next section, section three. 
Okay, so this is the basic structure of what we call an authority hub. It's no longer just a website. It's a hub of all of the information that shows people <clears throat> what niches you specialize in, where you can help them out, how you can help people, you know, so answers people's questions. And over time, you're going to start to dominate that, that picture in their mind when they're, on, when they're on Google making searches or going to Facebook and getting your retargeting ad. And they're going to go, be going, man, I can't get away from this guy or gal. They are everywhere and they're amazing. And I'm going to work with them and I'm going to tell everybody about it. Okay. <clears throat> Number three right here. Uh, like I said, guys, it's, it's, it looks like you're stacking bricks over time. And that's kind of what we're doing. Location pages, you know, stacking some of that, that authority content. And I'll show you guys how to automate a lot of it with our software. And you guys might be asking like, why should we do this? Well, uh, especially for real estate agents, a lot of real estate agents either buy leads from Zillow or they say, there's no way we can, can compete with Zillow. But guys and gals, this is the exact same way that Zillow grew, okay? If you guys wanna know how Zillow dominates the internet right now, it's because they created a ton of niche location pages for every city, every niche within those cities. They created a ton of consistent content on the blog. And now they've created so much of it at such a great scale that they rank for a lot of stuff. But we're gonna show you guys here in a bit how you can actually beat Zillow in the rankings by, by drilling down with more expertise in your content for your niche locations and swiping the leads right out from underneath them. Or if you're an investor, how you can do the same thing with any of your competitors uh, with enough focus and energy. All right, so here's how you do it, guys. We wanna get inside the mind of your buyers and sellers first, okay? So <clears throat> when they have a question or a problem, they need to sell their house or they're looking to buy, you know, where do most of us go? You know, do we go to Facebook to get our answers? Do we go to Instagram to get our answers? Do we go to our mailbox to get our, our answers? No, guys, we, we go to those places for entertainment. We go to those places to kill time, essentially. But we go to get our answers at Google. And that's the same thing with your guys' prospects. Your sellers and your buyers are not on Facebook going, man, I can't wait for this real estate agent or investor to post something so I can determine if I need to sell my house or to buy it. Now, Facebook does work. It works amazingly well. But that's why your conversion rates are far lower on Facebook than they are on Google because of the intent. They're not going to Facebook to solve a problem. They're going there for entertainment. And then they just happen to see you're out of your post. But on Google, they're going to Google to solve a problem. And it increases their intent. They're typing phrases like this, you know, sell my house, sell my house in blank city. Okay. Get cash from my house in blank city. Okay. Houses for sale on the river in Roseburg. Best real estate agents in Roseburg. Roger has a really good question here. He says, the key is the objective to become the niche or geographic area authority. 100% yes, Roger. 100% yes, dude. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that uh, with Carrot, all right? Company name reviews. And so everything that we're talking about is localized. Even if you think about Zillow, guys and gals, how many of you have ever done a Google search for like a property or something like that and you landed on Zillow's homepage? Almost never, unless you literally just Google Zillow, okay? Almost all the time you're landing on some sort of internal page on Zillow that's specifically for a property or a neighborhood or something like that. And so the content that we want you guys to be creating to build that authority, to build that evergreen should be all localized to the city, the neighborhood, the areas that you do business in. Okay, Realtor put out this study recently that said real estate related searches on Google.com have, have grown by 253% over the past four years. Guys, this trend is going to keep going. Okay, it's not going to stop. So if you guys want to make sure you're getting ahead of the, of the, of the, of the wave, if you want to make sure you're not getting left behind, the wave is continually going to Google to get questions answered. They're continually going there to answer their real estate problems and COVID has sped that up. And so if you're just cold calling, if you're just going out to pound, pound on the pavement, that's going to work. And I think it's going to continue to work. But this thing over here is going to continue to grow and you can't ignore it. The people that jump on this and really start to get ahead of it are the ones who are going to do an amazing, amazing job. Okay, so let's kind of walk through how it works. So how do sellers think about searching? Well, they might go to Google, Google and type something like this. They might type, sell my house fast to some. Okay, and Alex, said, they're not going to start on Facebook. And then they're going to see some searches. They're going to see some results like this. Okay. And what you see here, those three boxes that I've highlighted are actually all Tyler Ford's websites. He ranks number one, number two, and number three in Google uh, for a lot of his search phrases on selling a house in Tucson. Now, guys and gals, pop through the comments box. How powerful would that be for your business if you were able to get a, a top one, two, three, four, five ranking in your market for the most motivated prospects that you're looking for, for niches, for neighborhoods, for your city?
Okay. Uh, Ur Ur Urban uh, Capital Partner says, is the best geography city or county? It really depends on how people are searching. So if you're in Pennsylvania, people search by county a lot, Berks County, you know, things like that. So it just really depends on how people uh, search, but usually it's probably going to be city. Okay. Next, once they click on one of those, those links, uh, they're going to then land on a location page or your homepage like this. Okay. This one's set up for a highly motivated house seller on the carrot system. So every screenshot I'm showing you guys and gals is on the carrot system. And before I move on right now, I just want to give you guys a, a little heads up on this in case, uh, in case any of you guys are curious, in case you guys know that you for sure want to dive in and have carrot help you guys expand this and do amazing going in 2021. We do have a special offer for you guys. Uh, today that's going to give you four months of our advanced marketer plan, which gives you our premium designs, phone support, an onboarding call, all the features I'm talking about today that are going to help you automate certain things and or help you do other things more easily. Uh, it does take work. We're not going to say you go in there and everything's automated. It takes some work and commitment for sure. Okay, but we're going to include that. We're going to include some heavy, heavy bonuses over $7,000 in total value. Uh, we're going to be able to, we're going to be making that offer here in about 30 minutes, y'all. Uh, if anyone is wanting to join now, if you're already a carrot member, y'all, we're going to have the same offer for you. The cool thing is we're going to pause your billing for four months. Okay. Which is uh, normally that'd be $800 for four months worth of the advanced marketer plan. We're going to pause your billing for four months. We're going to give you all the bonuses and we're going to dive in and help you guys out heading into the new year. All right. So let's go back to the presentation now. So <clears throat> next they land on your location page and submit their info to sell. All right. So they're going to land here. The page is set up for conversion. It loads insanely fast on the carrot system. And then they become a motivated lead, something like this. Okay. So this person here, uh, Susan landed on this page for Anthony Beckham's website, uh, uh, Fairway Estates. You know, he actually ranks really, really well for that phrase. So if I was to go to Google and type up something like Fairway, Fairway Estates, um, Sutherland, Oregon, homes for sale. Let's do homes for sale. Bam, look at that, guys. Fairway Estates, Sutherland, Oregon. So Anthony is ranking over the top of Realtor.com, Realtor.com, Caldwell Banker National, Facebook, um, Zillow, Zillow, Compass.com, guys. Anthony's ranked number one in Google for that phrase. That post went up, guys, less than one month ago or just, just over one month ago, less than 45 days ago. That post went up. He leveraged what we call our location pages. He put a great video on there, which I'll show you guys how to leverage those videos in our feature called uh, video post. He made a really good landing page. And so he's starting to get some traffic and leads through this thing now. And you've got IDX listings on it. If there are IDX listings on it, that whole thing, that's what our location pages look like. That's how the process works. They land in the, in the, in the lead manager. It shows you the data, it shows you when they came in and it uh, shows you exactly where they came from. This person came from a Google search, submitted, and then became a lead. At 6, 10 at night, while he could have dinner with his family, he didn't have to call the person, didn't have to do any of that. Okay. And then what's next is once the person lands on your website, and this is where evergreen marketing gets really powerful, y'all. This is where it gets really powerful. Once they land on your website, not everyone is going to give you their information, right? A very small percentage will. Maybe 5, 10, 15% of everyone who lands on your website is actually going to call you or, or opt into one of your forms. So what do you do with the rest of the people? Well, they're definitely interested in some way, but they weren't ready yet. So then you, you, you serve them up retargeting ads on Facebook that look kind of like this. So this one's from one of our clients, Krista May Shore. She's an amazing real estate coach. Um, this is one of her ads. Attention. Oakley homeowners looking to sell your home in Oakley and surrounding areas, but you're nervous. You won't be able to find a replacement home. We've got solutions. And then you click it. It's a home value thing. And it takes to the home value page on the carrot system. She gets leads through that all of the time. So retarget those, those visitors that are coming from your content back onto Facebook to get them back over. It's going to dramatically increase your lead flow. Well, you might be asking, what about for investors? Okay. Do the same thing with investors from motivated house sellers. This one's from Brent Moreno in, in Mississippi. This is one of his ads, his retargeting ads on Facebook. Attention, Mississippi, you know, click this link, sell your house the easy way, no costly repairs. It's a picture of one of the houses that they purchased and flipped. You know, said we buy houses, click it. It takes them over to their website. Okay, guys, they get leads every single day using this method. Okay, so you're going to create content that essentially ranks well in Google. People are going to click it. You're going to use our system. They're going to land on a location page or a landing page. They're going to end up in your lead manager or you can send those leads to somewhere else. And then you retarget them back on Google, back to a landing page on the carrot system. And then you just keep on cranking out content. And you start to get consistent evergreen leads like this. This is from househeroes.com. Guys, this is from the past... 30 days. Okay. This is 30 days and 30 days only. 
87 leads, almost all of them are sellers. But look at this, 26 vacant land uh, seller uh, leads. These, This is someone who's looking to sell a property and possibly stay in it. This is people who are looking to move to another neighborhood. And there's a bunch more leads down there from other pieces of content that they created. Guys, the homepage has seven of the leads. The majority of the rest of the leads of those 87 are not from the homepage. It's from those bricks they're stacking from evergreen content. They generate over 3,000 leads every single year, seller leads, okay? Now, how do buyers search, right? So how buyers think and search? Once again, it doesn't start with Facebook. They might go to Google and type Fairway Estates, Sutherland, or, or Oregon. They might find Anthony's website there, like we showed before. They land on the page like this that's optimized. They go and click the, 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 the landing page or the, the opt-in form. They put in their information. Now you've got a hot lead of someone who is insanely, insanely motivated, okay? <clears throat> right there, they're gonna show us a Google search that came from that. Uh, Roger's asking, what about IDX connectivity? Yep, Roger, we have uh, IDX built in in some of the plans. Uh, you can add IDX onto any of the plans and then our top plan uh, includes it. Yep, so it's all included in there. And I texted Anthony a couple weeks ago. I'm like, dude, Anthony, you're starting to really hit this hard. He's only been doing it for about six months. He's starting to get some really good consistent leads and he hasn't even caught momentum yet. And said, what resonates with you the most about Evergreen Marketing? And he said, what res resonates with me most is both getting away from my paid leads and creating a brand that will produce leads for years to come. Guys, he's the number three real estate agent in our area. He crushes it with cold calling and he's looking to try to get off of the cold calling hamster wheel and he's investing in building this up. What about other buyer phrases like niches, North Umpqua River Homes for Sale? Guys, that's a high-end area around the Roseburg area. Wouldn't you love to be the real estate agent that is ranking number one in Google over Zillow and over Realtor for that exact phrase for a high-end home that you're a specialist in where you can take those leads away from Zillow before you have to buy them from them? Well, that's what G-Team, one of our clients, is doing right there. They created a location page on our system. Uh, and then Anthony did the same thing with other phrases, top five best neighborhoods, Roseburg, Oregon. Okay. Um, again, they land on your location page. They browse it. They look at it. They opt into the, the opt-in form and they become a lead just like this. Okay, guys, you guys getting the picture for how this works? It's not really that complicated. It's not really that complicated at all, right? Uh, Anne Marie says one of uh, she's one of Krista's students, right? So what I'm going to do right now, guys and gals, is this. So I'm going to pull up um, this really quick. If you guys are on the play page, so the, the, the page that we're viewing this on, or you guys can just do this. Uh, actually, if, if you guys are on the play page, you're going to see a link below or right next to the video. If anyone is curious and going, how do I actually leverage Carrot? You can go check out what we're offering right now. Hold that there. We do have some bonuses for the first 25 people for sure, but I'm going to power on. Are you guys getting some massive takeaways? If so, I'm going to keep on going. We've got a little bit more content left to go, uh, about another 30 minutes where I'm going to be walking through exactly how to choose the right type of content, exactly where to put the content and how to get it in front of those best buyers and sellers. Okay. So you might be asking a question, why focus on evergreen leads when I can just buy leads? I can just buy the leads from Zillow, right? I can just pay for ads or I can just keep hustling cold calling. Well, you can totally do all that stuff. Like I said, it, it's fully your choice. I think it really depends on the lifestyle that you want to get from your business. And so once again, evergreen leads convert a 100 to 250% higher than other types of leads. Now let's walk back, walk that back for you. Okay. What, once someone becomes a lead, okay, now the lead to customer close ratio, according to this study from HubSpot, uh, on average, SEO or evergreen content getting ranked well in Google converts double, uh, sometimes triple as high from a lead to close ratio than any other lead source except for direct. Okay. Now, what does this mean, y'all? So when you couple this right here, where your visitors are going to convert into a lead at double the rate of, of, of most other types of marketing, including Facebook ads and social media. And then once they become a lead, they convert double as well. Guys, that's like, I don't even know what you want to call it, but that's double stacking the benefit. And you could actually get half or one third of the volume of the leads that, you may cur that, you, that you're currently probably getting and earn the same income. Now, why is that important? If you want to get off the hamster wheel and you, and do you want to continue to call really low quality leads that are tire kickers? If you get a hundred leads through Facebook, do you want to call a hundred of them to find out that maybe one of them is worth working with? Or if you want, if you get, if you get 12 good seller leads from, from, from carrot, uh, one or two or three, of those might become a deal for you. Like which one of those equations would you rather have? It takes work though, right? It takes work. I'm not going to say it's not work. Uh, Eric Staniel, uh, he's with Keller Williams and he's a real estate investor. He says, my highest uh, uh, carrot, uh, my carrot leads are so 
much more qual more high quality. Okay. I close one in five of my carrot seller leads into a deal. Agents in my office ask me how I'm doing it. Uh, guys, go look him up. He's an amazing, amazing agent and investor, but pulling in tons of leads from carrot. Okay. So there's something I call phantom expenses. Phantom expenses is something I discovered in that phase when I was making that transition from 2010, 2012, when I was really looking at my, at my business, I'm going, man, because I don't have these parts of my business optimized, how much money am I losing every single month that I don't even know that I'm losing because my website isn't converting as well as it should, or because of this or because of that. And so I want to walk through this quick equation for you. Okay. If you could get just two extra leads a month with the current traffic you're already getting just by making your website better by turning it from a website to an authority hub with good content that builds trust, builds credibility, that ropes people in and, and says, man, you know, they want to work with you. If you could get just two leads a month from it, from these small tweaks, that's 24 extra leads a year. Okay. The average carrot client uh, closes seller leads about one in 10 to one in 15 leads into the deal on average. You'll see some people one in 20, some people one in five. Okay. So if you close one in 15 leads into a deal, a uh, seller leads, and you get 24 extra leads uh, a year, guys, that's an extra one to two deals every single year. If your average profit is $10,000, that's 10 to $20,000 extra just by making this small switch to make your existing traffic convert better. And so if you guys are looking at it going, well, I get my broker provided website for free or I'm on Wix or whatever, and this is $10 a month or this is 50 or whatever it is, how much is that $50 a month or free website costing you? And we have a lot of our agent clients coming over from broker provided websites. The G team is one of them where they're like, man, we didn't realize how much it was actually costing us to have a free website. It was costing them tens of thousands of dollars because it was converting not very well and it wasn't helping them stand out. Okay. So I want to ask you this question now, you know, what's just one lost deal worth to you? Okay. What's just one lost deal worth for you? How many deals are you okay with losing this year from underperformance? Okay, guys, how many deals are you okay with losing this year from underperformance? My guess is the answer is probably none, right? And if that's the case, I want you to write down on a piece of paper right now, what your average commission per transaction is or what your average profit per deal is. And I want you to write that. I want you, I want you to look at that number, that $5,000 number, that $8,000 number, that $10,000 number, that $25,000 number, and ask yourself, how many of those checks are you currently losing right now? Because you haven't made the choice to tighten up your website, to turn it into an authority hub, to really leverage a better system to get better results. You're losing one of those, two of those, three of those, four of those, five of those, or like Carter, he was losing $20,000 a month, every single month, because his pretty custom website was underperforming and it wasn't set up to be an authority hub. Okay. So what types of leads does this work for? Uh, retail or buyer websites for agents, house buying websites for investors and hybrid agent investors, house selling websites. Okay. If you're looking, if you're looking to sell discount properties, uh, note buying or selling websites, we have a lot of, a lot of land investors on the carrot system using our land sites, our credibility building websites. We have private lenders using carrot. Uh, we have people bringing in a ton of lease option leads, tons of lease option leads, y'all tons of people bringing in tenant leads. I use carrot myself for tenants and look at this y'all. This is evergreen and this is not planned. Okay. I'm going to pull this up right here. This is literally today. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I got these text messages from the carrot system. I have an apartment building in Klamath Falls and I got two leads today, one at 1123. And the other one shortly after that, Corvana is looking for a two bedroom and Christopher is looking for a two bedroom. Guys, I set that website up four years ago. I haven't touched it since then. I did the right things up front, the two, six, one formula, and now it's bringing in evergreen leads. But you can use care for all kinds of different things. Okay. Uh, so on a scale of one to 10, how good is your authority hub? I want you guys to write it down, put it in the comments box. A uh, one is you don't have a website right now. You're definitely not uh, uh, built up on your authority. Number two is man, I've got a broker provided site or a page. That's kind of a two to a four. Number uh, five or a six is I've just got a funnel, you know, just like a click funnel or something. Click funnels is amazing. If you're selling a product online, it's not amazing uh, for this type of a thing. A uh, seven or eight, it's good, but it's incomplete. Uh, and that's probably where a lot of carrot customers are, where you've got the platform, but you just really need to start building out the content using our tools. And then a nine or a 10, I'm nailing on all elements. I'm crushing it. Guys, pop through the comments box. Where do you land? Scale of one to 10. How good is your authority hub? Uh, pick one of these, pop it through. And then I want you to ask, how much did that likely cost you this year by not having a nine or a 10? Pop through your number. Which number are you on the authority hub scale? And how much did it likely cost you this year because you're not a nine or a 10? Guys, can you commit to this journey? 
Can you commit to this journey to shifting the way you think about marketing? Can you commit to this journey to think of, uh, to shift the way that you think about driving your business? Guys, I want you to build businesses that support you, okay? So many people on this call, just like I did, you support your business. And as long as you're supporting your business because you're having to do all these things to, to continually keep leads coming in, you're going to be at the mercy of your business. You can't take those vacations. You can't take the money and put it into greater impact things. You can't take that money as well and actually enjoy it. Okay. I want to get you guys to the freedom side of it where your business supports you. But the first step in getting there is acknowledging you've got to change your market and you've got to get more evergreen lead sources in. We've got some twos. We've got some sevens, fours, uh, seven to eight. Awesome, Robert. I love it, man. Uh, coming in that nine to 10. I uh, love it, dude. 150K. Uh, awesome, guys. Uh, net 40, uh, 40,000 net commissions, probably what it's costing. Okay, cool. So, how do you implement this in your business? So, all of this is built into Carrot, and I'm going to show you here in a second uh, some of the ways that you can do that. And then uh, the second thing is we're always pushing out updates. Like I said, we have the hybrid template that's coming out very soon. If you're watching this uh, right now, the hybrid template's coming out in, in, extremely soon. It looks amazing. And uh, it's modeled after some really, really good stuff, guys. Keep an eye out for that. I'm talking like imminently, okay? So we're always pushing out massive updates to make the websites load faster than anything else, to make the websites convert great. We're always testing new things to find out what can we help you, what can we help do to make them perform even better for y'all, okay? Or you can go find a web person who's an expert in conversion rate optimization, SEO and real estate. And they're probably gonna be able to build it out for you know, somewhere in that range of the, the three to eight, three to $12,000 range but then you're going to be at the mercy of them and them updating the thing and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, we'll walk you through it. Uh, Tom Townsend was one of those guys. He'd been through all the different systems and uh, he's with Keller Williams and he's an investor as well. <clears throat> and he said, I finally know how my marketing is doing. All my other marketing channels now are just tactics and carrots, the big chunk in the middle, it was just missing. Uh, he joined in May and guys, as of the time we took this screenshot, 190 plus leads and uh, a really, really good conversion rate and starting to get some good evergreen rankings already. All right, secret number three, y'all. Two ways, Carrot helps automate valuable evergreen content in under 20 minutes a week, okay? We wanna help you start to replace that hamster wheel marketing, okay? And once again, social media, y'all, is not evergreen. Okay, social media is great, I like it, I post on it, but you have to understand it's not evergreen. You're a slave to that tool because you've always gotta keep on posting to keep things at the top of people's feed. Um, all right, guys. Uh, Alexander says, what's the hybrid template you're going to give it to uh, give us a taste? I can't show it to you right now, actually, uh, because uh, there's a couple things the team is finishing up. But I, I will give you a preview of this, that it's going to be coming out within the next 14 days. OK, so there's some cool stuff coming out. y'all. All right. So I want to play this video for you guys really quick. When we started, we finished that flip and sold it in January of 18. When I kind of went, OK, well, we lost money on that. That next 12 months, I spent 40 grand on marketing. And I said, there's got to be a better way. I got one of the guru's courses. He was preaching direct mail and PPC and SEO. And I'm like, well, I'll just do all of them. So we were so busy doing all that, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. I'm just like, let's just get leads. And they just were not coming in. So I, I quit doing everything, all the marketing, everything. And we started a brand new site. I probably spent 10. 10, 12,000 in 2019. By the time the summer came around, we started to generate some leads. They were actually motivated sellers. So we did six <laughs> in 2019. And still, you know, not that, not nearly as many leads as we wanted to come in, but we knew we were on the right track. Our rankings kept climbing. Now we're starting to see eight leads a month SEO. And that's that was kind of our average. And we know those are the best leads. So. You know, we were closing one, sometimes two of those, two of those eight. You know, we're ranking one or two for three or four keywords now, the best ones in town. We added on PPC and then we added Facebook in April. So right now we're sitting at, you know, 40 to 45 leads a month. But it all kind of ties together because we got to have the site, right? So we know that the quality of leads are fantastic. That first year I spent 40 to right now we're spending between four and $5,000 a month. In August, we did $100,000 in fees. And this month will be 40. So we're spending five, four to five and, and making, let's say 40. As soon as we close that first deal in 2019, I knew we could do it. Love care. You guys understand our business so well. The more you guys bring on in terms of services that y'all can offer us, I'm all in. 
Guys, so Adam, we recorded that at the last Carrot Camp up here in Roseburg. And, and the cool thing about it is Adam is in Dallas where it's a crazy competitive market. You know, there's hundreds of other Carrot clients there. Uh, where our, our clients are dominating that market all over Google, all over everything. Okay. And he came in well after tons of other people already, already having tons of success in Dallas. And, and a question that pops up for a lot of people is like, what if there's a bunch of other carrot clients in my market? Can I still succeed? And so he came in and he just said, it doesn't matter if there's other people in the market using the same tool. The tool is the tool. Okay. The tool is proven to work and perform. What I need to do is use the tool in my own way with my own content and just work harder than those other people and I can win. Guys, he came in after Brian Rockwell in that market. He came in after hundreds of others and he is pulling out about half a million dollars in gross deal profits this year with a full-time job, 100% on carrot way after tons of other people were there. And there's tons of other people succeeding there as well. Okay, guys. All right, let's dig in. So a big shift I want you guys to make is this, your website is, is the authority hub, not social media. And so one thing that a lot of real estate agents will do specifically is you'll use Instagram or Facebook or something like that as your hub. Like everything goes to Facebook and that's where everything's linked to. And then, oh, by the way, I've got a website over here, right? But it should actually work the opposite direction. Your website should be the hub of all of that primary content because that's where it's going to be evergreen for you. It's not evergreen in Facebook. So make sure you're not making that mistake of just putting up your good videos and stuff on Facebook and not putting it on your website. So I'm going to show you guys how you can actually do that in a way that's putting evergreen content on your website that then gets shared over to your social media. And you can still continue to post on social media, but your primary long form content and credibility and that kind of stuff is owned and lives on your website and gets shared up from there. Okay. The normal process uh, that, that we would go into or that anyone would go into to create really good, effective, evergreen content that ranks well, that gets in front of your best prospects is this. Okay. Number one, we would go out and research in Google or you go out and research in Google for what your buyers and sellers are typing into Google. Okay. Just literally simple stuff like this. Like if I'm, if I, if I serve people who are in, you know, uh, uh, horse properties, okay. Horse property for sale in Lane County, Oregon. Awesome. Let's say I'm a real estate agent. I like doing horse properties. I'm in Lane County. I would literally do Google searches. I would just see what pops up as a, as a suggestion. And then I would honestly, I would just click it and I'm going to scroll to the bottom here and I'm going to go, awesome. These are all great suggestions of content. Okay. Horse property for sale in Marion County. I'm going to create a page on that horse property for sale in Springfield. I'm going to create a page on that, a location page. These are all bricks I'm stacking over time that are going to start to rank well in Google. And uh, your, your competitors probably aren't going to do this. Okay. Less than 5% of people on this call are probably going to do it because it's so much more attractive to go out there and do that hamster wheel thing that you get immediate gratification from versus putting in the work to build a strong foundation. Okay. So that is what I would do to research in Google. Uh, probably about an hour a month normally, if I'm really wanting to come up with all the content ideas. And then I would pull away and write, you know, a bunch of 500 to 800 word articles, usually about one a week. Okay. And so that's about an hour, an article maybe, or you can hire it out to someone on Upwork for about 50 bucks to someone that's going to do an okay job at it. Okay. So that's about four hours a month or about, or about $200 a month. If you're just to do this by yourself. Number three, then you would just rinse and repeat. So you do that one or two times a week. Uh, that would end up uh, getting you about 52 extra pages on your website every year, content pieces or bricks that you're stacking, more opportunities to get in front of your best prospects and own that conversation. And that's about five to eight hours a month or six to $800 total, including your time. That's the normal process that other people are having to do. And that's what I had to do. Okay. Our process is this. Okay. You would log into our system and use our content that we've already already researched for you, that we've already written. Okay, we write content every single month for our clients with those plans, those plan types. Um, you would then use our tool to automate that content. I would just automate one to two articles a week. Our, our system kind of spins them a little bit. And then like Tyler Ford and a lot of our other clients, rather than writing an article from scratch, they'll just slightly modify that article. So they maybe spend 10 minutes in it and it gives them an, an even greater edge and helps them to rank well. Okay. Then after that, so that's literally probably like a, you know, every single month, maybe a 10 to 15 minute thing, maybe 30 minutes if you're going to go in and modify a few of those. Okay. So then number two, you would then create one, what we call video post a week. Okay. So that's shoot literally a very short three to five minute video. It's got to be over three. It's got to be over three minutes for sure. Cause we need enough words in the video. That's going to, that Google's going to like it on the page. 
three to five or three to eight minute video talking about your expertise. You know, hey, this is Trevor out here at the North Umpqua River. If you're looking to buy a North Umpqua River home, I'm going to walk you through the five things you should look at when you're when you're looking at the water systems and how the water systems are. Is it a well? Is it directly out of the, the river? Da, da, da. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how that works. Blah. Okay. Literally just like that. So three to five, three to eight minutes. You do one of those a week. When you're out there on the job, just pick up that phone and do it. Let our software then turn those videos into written articles for you. Our video post feature does it for you, okay? You literally put in the, the URL, you you purchase it, it's a, it's a buck 25 a minute, so if it's a five minute video, it's only like six bucks to have that done. Way better than 50 bucks to hire someone to write an article or, or your time to do it. And then we send you an email that says, hey, your article's ready. And you can just log in and, and do whatever you wanna do with it. And then, then you share it up on social media. So that process really is like less than an hour a month in total versus five to eight hours the traditional way. And so our content marketing system looks 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 like this. So I'm gonna log into the system right now. Okay, I'm gonna give a little quick demo. And um, I'm just gonna show you guys what the content automation system looks like. So if you're an agent, you would just click the agent tab. If you're an investor, you'd click the investor tab. And let's say that you're looking for, um, you're looking to reach some home sellers. And this pack was published, you know, last month or something like that. You can go in here and, and Google these. All of these titles and all of the articles are written from research that we did based on what is being searched for right now. When COVID hit, guys, we started writing COVID articles for you, okay? And so you would just go in, go, go ahead and, and click the website you want to schedule it to. I want to do once a week and I'm going to do them on Thursdays and click add it, okay? Uh, we were the first ones in the industry to pioneer this feature. We actually brought this feature out in 2014, which is way before um, the other ones in the industry that do it. And so you have a lot of content in this. I think it's well over a thousand articles in the library in here that you've got access to, to, to schedule up and we write new ones every single month. Okay. So that's one way to, to automate that out. And like I said, one thing you can do is you can just go ahead and Google or uh, you, you can go ahead and check out those articles, modify them if you want to. Now, what kind of results could you expect? Well, number one, you definitely can't expect these to always rank number one or number two or number three in Google, especially if there's other people in your market using the exact same article and no one modified it. So what I would definitely suggest is if you're in a competitive market and you know there's other carrot members in there, you're saving a ton of time by using the tool. But then what I would do is I would just spend 10 minutes modifying a little bit of the article, put in your own picture, you know, delete this paragraph and rewrite it in your own words, then click update, that kind of a thing. And this happens all the time. So if you're to Google like selling a house I inherited in Detroit, guys, if you're an investor or an agent and you work in the probate or inherited niche and you love those properties, how valuable would it be to be ranked number one in Google in Detroit for inherited property, for this inherited property search? This one article that they scheduled up and spent 10 minutes basically modifying has probably been worth tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars for them. Now, this one article is just one of dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of articles they have on their website. Okay. So they kind of cast that net out there. And every single week, they're putting new content out that stacks the bricks and builds up momentum to where eventually you just have leads coming in every day. Okay. Right there. Uh, look at this right here. So Tim says, one of my video post pages got more SEO traffic than my homepage last fall. Currently my number two and number three top traffic pages are video post pages. Guys, the thing is, I'm going to show you guys video post right now. Tim didn't write those articles. Guys, I want, I want to see you pop in the, in the comments box. Who on here likes sitting down and writing articles? Pop through the comments box. If you love it or hate it, let me know. Do you love it or you hate it? Okay. Love it or hate it. Let me know if you're like writing articles. I don't like writing articles. I'd much rather pull up a video. And Anthony is the same way, Anthony Beckham. So <clears throat> this right here, video post, that feature I'm talking about, automatically turns your short videos into written articles for you. So you would just log into the carrot system right here. You'd go to the content tab. And we're just gonna go to posts. So there's a question over here a little bit ago, You know, should those articles uh, or video posts should be posts or pages? Uh, they should always be posts, okay? So pop right over here. Uh, you get, go ahead and click add new uh, as a post. And then we're going to give you an option. This is a brand new um, refinement of the tool that we made just recently. And you can choose a standard blog post. Like if you want to sit down and write the article, awesome. Write down the article. Roger says, I hate it because I suck at it. Dude, I'm the same thing. But if you can pull up a cell phone and then record a three to eight minute video, and I'll show you an example of a really basic, simple one, then you can do this and you can build that authority and trust. So you just go ahead and click video post right here. You go grab the, the URL uh, of the YouTube video. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one here just because it's right there. Let me grab this URL. 
you just grab that URL, copy and paste it right there. Okay. And I'm just going to go back over here, paste that bad boy right in there. You click next. And then our system is going to grab that video. It's going to import the title. It's going to import everything. It's going to import the video in there. You click click purchase. It's a buck 25 a minute. Uh, our, our cost to get it transcribed is a buck 25 a minute. Okay. So that's our cost. We don't make money on it. We lose money on it. And then you're going to get an email within, you know, within the day, usually a couple hours saying your article's ready. And then it's going to look something like this. Okay. It's going to look something like, um, I'm going to have, have the video. It's going to have the content below it, things like that. I'll show you guys another example of one that's ranking really well. This right here, top five best neighborhoods in Roseburg, Oregon. Guys, if you're to Google best neighborhoods in Roseburg, Oregon, it's ranking number three in Google behind Realtor and bestplaces.net. Now, there's other uh, local Roseburg agents here. You guys might be asking, well, shoot, if Anthony's doing this, can I do it too? 100%, guys. Guys, he, re he recorded that and uploaded it earlier in the year. The same thing can happen for you guys. Go after the niches you care about. Upload videos and video posts in the niches you care about, just like this niche right here, okay? Uh, farm, farmland, Roseburg, Oregon. Okay, so this is a good example of a video post where the person does, did not want to write. They're not very comfortable on video. I said, Denny, dude, just pull up a camera and just be out there, record a short video, three minute video on something about that farmland. And he did. And it's a really simple video. We're standing on a farm that was purchased four years ago and it was pasture land. Okay, guys, anyone can do this type of video. It's shot with a cell phone. It's not very fancy. He's not a professional speaker. He put it into our video post feature. It spit out this full article for him, and it's ranked number one on Google, and it has for three years, evergreen, three years, uh, for any phrase around farmland or purchasing farmland, Roseburg, Oregon. Guys, they get leads in that every single month. That one three and a half minute video and 15 minute time commitment has been worth tens of thousands of dollars to that brokerage. Okay. Can you, can you guys get the picture here? <clears throat> if you just consistently stack on this content, you can be that trusted authority in the niches that you care about. Like, just like Shamika, Shamika said, care, Pat, care, it's impacted my business so positively care has impacted my business. So positively. I love the property websites, landing pages, the SEO rankings, blogs, and overall. I also love the landing pages that I used to drive traffic from the ads that I run. Okay. It's my favorite to watch the Google rankings. I go up the more and more I become relevant. She had a custom website before carrot. <clears throat> She's stacking it on starting to get some really, really good results. Okay. Here's some things motivated sellers search online. Okay. Write these down, take a screenshot of it. Okay. They, they might search, sell my house fast city, sell my house fast uh, or sell my house city. That shows really, really good intent for motivation. Uh, as they're narrowing down the search after they start abroad, then they're going to be like cash home buyer city. We buy houses city sell my house without a real estate agent, you know, that kind of thing. But all of them are always localized. Okay. Then as they get closer to the buy decision, they're going to start to type up reviews. Now these are all content ideas. So if you guys are saying like, what do I do content on these things right here? Okay. You go, go out there and type up phrases. Your sellers or buyers are likely typing in whatever pops up as a suggested search in Google, do that. And then do try to do one of those a week or do one day a month where you just shoot three or four of those videos. Okay. What about buyers? What about retail buyers? Okay. They oftentimes start really, really broad. They'll say like Roseburg or whatever city houses for sale. Guys, you're probably, you're not going to outrank Zillow for that. You're not going to outrank Zillow for city for sale phrases. Okay. So just, I would even just leave those ones alone, but you can outrank Zillow for really drill down phases at the neighborhood level. And people have said that you can't for so long, guys, you can, we prove it over and over again. When you create great content and you do it consistently, you build an authority hub, not just a website. You know, best neighborhoods to live in, in city neighborhoods, uh, neighborhood name, city houses for sale. So Melrose, Roseburg, Oregon houses for sale, a uh, type of property in city houses for sale, uh, new construction prop, new construction homes in Roseburg for sale. Okay, guys, you guys are getting the idea here. Okay. These are the types of content ideas you guys can grab. And then when they're ready to buy, when they're getting really close to that buy decision, then it's the ones that are more specific to you as an agent, best real estate agents in insert city. Okay. The agent name reviews, your name reviews. Okay. So put content online for all this. If you, if you shoot a testimonial from one of your clients and it's a few minutes long, title it. Okay. Uh, Trevor mock real estate agent reviews, Roseburg, Oregon, put that in YouTube, put it on a video post. You're going to have that rank really high in Google. And now you're controlling the conversation and closing more of those leads into a deal. 
Okay, so if anyone wants more ideas, I'm going to be giving you guys a link to this video marketing playbook at the end completely for free. Uh, I'll give you the link at the end, but it's going to give you 52 content marketing ideas, video marketing ideas that you can then go and use in video posts and start to get that content out. All right, guys, the end result is the most highly motivated sellers and buyers. They find you to help them out, not the other way around. All right, guys, so I'm going to skip over this secret here. Um, I can give you guys uh, this training later, but I think I packed a little bit too much into this training. So what I want to do is this. Okay, I want to I want to recap this here. So we went over the two six one formula for evergreen marketing from Mr. Tyler Ford. Go grab his book, y'all. Look it up. Number two, we we looked at why a normal website isn't enough and why you need to really shift your website into an authority hub. Okay. Number three, what we did. Um, Technology at me is three simple types of evergreen marketing that anyone can do in under 30 minutes a week. I showed you what that is. And then number four, we didn't get to that because of, of time. But guys, I want to have you have you guys pop into the 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 comments box here. Okay. Uh, what has been the most valuable so far? Okay, what would change it for you? JR says, is there anything for investors? JR, everything I've talked about in this entire training has been for investors. <laughs> everything. Now, what, what I've been doing is I've been using examples for both. Okay, so I'll show an example that, that where an agent can use it, an investor can use it, but every single thing that I've talked about uh, is exactly for investors or agents. You just change the wording of the phrase or whatever, okay? Uh, but Roger says, how long will the annual program be available? I uh, have to move funds around. Yeah, so this one here, it's not an annual program. What it is, is you'll make an investment. I'll, I'll walk you guys through what that what that offer is. If you guys feel that, man, I want to make this shift. I want to make this move into Evergreen. I think Carrot's the way to do it. And if you guys want to want the best deal uh, before the new year by far, we're going to give you that offer today. But um, it's uh, I'll, I'll walk you through it here in, here in a bit, Roger. Okay. Um, awesome. Yep. Great question, Janeth. I'll, I'll answer all those questions. So guys, pop through the comments box right now. What has been the most valuable for you so far in this training? Uh, pop it in. Is it something from, you know, the, the content idea part? Was it the authority part? Was it way at the beginning of the training where it was just a mindset shift? Let me know what your biggest takeaway is by, by far. Okay. Uh, Anne Marie says, I already have carrot and this just inspired me more. I work on my site every day and it's paying off. I love it. I love it. And that's what it's about. Y'all, like I said, it, it's, it's work. We're not going to say it's not work. If anyone's going into this thinking you're going to buy it and then carrot's going to do everything for you. And you're just going to push some buttons and throw oranges at your computer or whatever, and it's going to work. The answer is no. Okay. I don't want you to do it. I want you to go and wait till you're committed to make this shift in this change. Okay. It's the same thing with working out until you're ready to make the commitment to shift and really work out. You're never going to make the commitment to show up every day. You're never going to get that result. You're always going to be the way that you were. And so until you're ready to make the commitment to shift the way you're marketing, don't join Karen. But if you're ready to make that commitment, y'all, we are here to make it with you. All right. Awesome. Uh, JR Wood says, I'm ready. The authority hub, the mindset. Uh, Stefan, this has been eye opening. Uh, learning about the authority hub has been most valuable. Authority hub concept and how it drives Google rankings. Uh, the content program that helps build authority. Facebook is not your hub. Yes, Michelle. Facebook is not your hub. Facebook is an amazing tool. Keep using it. But it's not your content hub because it's it's hamster wheel. Okay, you've always got to be feeding that uh, forever. Instead, shoot a little bit longer videos, three to eight minute videos, and upload those into video posts. Make that your hub, share them out to Facebook, and then all of your shorter form content goes on Facebook, all right? Yeah, yeah. Tyler Ford, what's up, dude? Uh, motivates me to do more video posts. I love it. I'm um, right here. I'm already doing, I'm already creating content. Don't have anywhere to put it. This looks ideal. Yes. Uh, this is where your longer form content is going to put. You don't want to put like 60 second videos and stuff like that because there's not enough words in the video for us to yank out uh, to have it to have it rank well. It needs to be at least three to eight minutes, eight minutes. Okay. Right here, Fema, copy and paste what successful people do. Just do it. I love it, y'all. I love it. All right, here we go. So I'm going I'm to dive in here. So this is what we focus on inside Carrot. We help you plant. We help you nurture, we help you grow that crop, harvest that crop and really grow an amazing business in life, okay? Um, and, and I'm gonna give you a quick, quick demo uh, on kind of how Carrot works. So I'm logged into Anthony's website right here. He's got an investor website and he's got uh, an agent website as well. And so I'm gonna click this button like I'm launching a new site. And so once you log in here, you're going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to pick what website you want depending on if you join the investor or the agent side of the of, of the of the product. If you're an agent first, 
you're going to want to click the agent button. If you're an investor first, you're going to want to click the investor button. If you're both, click whatever button is your primary business that people know and recognize you as. And then you can always add agent or investor on the other side of it. But I'm logged into his account, which he has both agent and investor. Okay. He's got both of them in his, in his account because uh, he upgraded to that. So he, you can go ahead and pick an agent site. We've got some amazing uh, innovations on some agent designs coming out soon. But let's say I'm looking for motivated house sellers. Let's say I'm an, uh, I'm, I'm an investor. I can just go ahead and click this puppy and create that site. So everything I had talked about, about the authority hub, about conversion rate optimization, about making sure your website loads really, really fast, um, about uh, having the core, the core conversion pages up there. Our system's building all that right now. So it's 10 years of experience baked into 20 seconds of time that our software automates for you. And then it's done just like that. Now, what you have to do from here is you can click this link and go view the site. Okay, go check out the website. It's gonna look very, very basic right now, okay? So it doesn't look fancy. It's not gonna look award-winning. It's gonna be a high converting website out of the box, but now you need to go customize it uh, and, and update it. Now, if you want our help, if you want our help, we do have services uh, that are uh, an extra service where you can pay us to do all that setup work for you. We have a service called the Concierge where our team will go in. Uh, Tyler's done, I think, three or four concierges. We have something called the Concierge where our team will go in and do all the design work, make it look amazing, make it stand out, bring all your credibility in, rewrite all the pages, create your first 10 location pages. That's an extra service. Um, or we have training that's going to walk you through this. Okay. And then you would just pop over here and you go, let me go to the design tab and choose a design. So everyone who takes this offer today is going to get the advanced marketer plan, which is our, our, it's our premium plan. And that premium plan includes some premium designs. Okay. This, these are designs way fewer people have, and they just have some really cool elements. We have some other cool stuff coming out on the premium design side of it in 2021. Okay. So let's say I want to choose that one right there. Let's go ahead and choose it. I'd go back here, activate and publish that design. And now I'm going to go and I can start to update my content. Okay. I can go update my content. I can go back in and, uh, you know, add my about page. I can go over here and, and click in and check out my contact us page and just go up here to the edit box and just edit it. Okay. Everything is drag and drop editing within carrot. Now I just go ahead and click boxes. I edit them. Um, and then you can see it in real time. Now my internet's dragging a little bit, but if I want to add a video here or something like that, I would just go ahead and click that little box there type up video. I'd add the little YouTube deal. I put in the YouTube URL right there, embed, and then really quickly, you've got a video inside of your blog post. You can add forms, you can do all that kind of stuff. Okay. But all the content is already inside of your, your web pages by default. You just need to go in and modify it from there. Okay. What would happen next? And I'm going to go back to uh, Anthony's dashboard. What would happen next is then you'd want to put in some keywords that you want to rank for. Okay. So let's say you did that exercise I walked you through before to try to find some of those motivated seller or cash buyer or, or a retail buyer keyword phrases. Okay. So you'd go ahead and pop over here and you'd say, well, here's some of the phrases I want to start trying to rank for. So real estate agent in Roseburg or Roseburg real estate companies or Roseburg agents, real estate, Melrose, Roseburg homes for sale. You would just go ahead and put all of those inside of the system. Okay. You have up to 20 keywords per site. And that's something we're doing a, a really cool upgrade on that in 2021 as well. And then our system is going to track them for you. It's going to tell you where it's ranking, how it's growing. So you can see this one already. When he put it in, he was way down in the, in the middle of page two, just by executing the plan. This is evergreen at work, y'all. This is evergreen. Okay. Now it's up, up on page one. It's going to keep on climbing. We give you suggestions how to make it better or hop on a coaching call and we can coach you through it one-on-one. -on -one. Once traffic starts to come in, y'all, then you're going to see the stats section and you can see, you can check this out and you're going to see, Hey, how many visitors have landed on my website? What about the leads and the lead numbers? Which pages are the most popular? You know, where, where are people coming from? So you can kind of see what's happening to cause the traffic and results for you. Okay. One tool that's a really cool tool that a lot of our clients use, Anthony hasn't been using it yet is campaigns. So if you're doing Facebook ads or you're doing, um, um, you know, Craigslist ads or anything like that, you would just pop right over here, create a special tracking link just for that. And then you would use that tracking link and it's going to tell you how many people clicked it, how many leads came through it. So you can always know what's, what, what's working really, really well for you. Okay. And we have a bunch of other amazing tools in here. In addition to video posts, in addition to the content marketing system, in addition to our trainings, our marketplace, the whole thing, y'all, I don't have time to go into all of it, <clears throat> but that's the, at the essence of the product. So we help you get the website launched. You then go in and personalize it or hire us to do it. You then follow our marketing plan to get the evergreen marketing going. If you want to get quicker results, you can drive some Google paid ads or Facebook ads. We teach you how to do that as well. Track things, 
track your leads. You can integrate with a lot of other CRMs if you want to. Um, guys, who thinks the Carrot tool is awesome? If you're thinking about Carrot at all and you're successful offline, but you have no online presence or you're online, but not consistently generating leads or leads that turn into deals, or you want to ramp it up and don't want to become the SEO tech or conversion expert, I'm going to show you guys how you can leverage the Carrot system to better help you do that. And you have a decision right now, you know, you can, you can take one route, which is do the same thing you've been doing and you can continue to do trial and error, right? You can continue trying things, uh, trying to build things yourself uh, and you're working your way through it, hiring your cousin Eddie to build the site or using the broker provided site or whatever it is, or you can do what Carter did and tons of other people did. They ditched that custom site. They ditched the broker site. They ditched the sites that keep them in the hamster wheel and they move to the fast decision <laughs> side of it. Ah, blowing up and they move to a proven system, okay? So the Carrot Evergreen Marketing Platform is that, but it's not gonna be right for everybody. So once again, if you're not ready to commit to doing content, to leveraging our tool, to putting in some work to grow that evergreen, then I would just politely ask you to hold back and not purchase today, and then figure out when is right for you to get off that hamster wheel and really invest in the growth of your business. If it is right for you, uh, here's what I wanna walk you guys through. Everybody's going to get four months of the advanced marketer suite for free. So all those features I showed you, uh, the, 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 the premium phone call support, the, <clears throat> the, the dashboard tracking, the SEO ranking tracker, the content automation tools with video posts, those are all included in this. Okay. Uh, we can track your SEO keywords. You can pick premium website designs. You can even track your leads in here and send them off to integration partners for CRMs. If you want to the normal price of the advanced marketer plan, if you go to our website today, you can just go to carrot.com forward slash plans and check it out. Uh, the normal price for this for agents and for investors is $199 a month. Okay. And that includes all those features plus a lot more that I didn't talk about at all. And so if you're to add that up, $199 a month times four is about 800 bucks. Okay. So we're essentially waiving $800 in payments. If you're an existing Carrot customer, we're also going to make this offer to waive your $800 in payments if you want to take this offer and get the bonuses. Okay. Uh, what you'll be able to do with Carrot, uh, you can dial in that online marketing strategy. You can launch high converting authority hubs versus just a website. Um, you, you're going to have the best SEO and content marketing tools and training in the industry. Okay. You're, uh, you're going to have access to stats, manage your leads a lot more, and you're going to finally be able to get rid of a lot of these things. You know, your low performing website that you think is cheap, but it's actually costing you a lot of money. Probably get rid of those coders from Upwork, get rid of designers, tech guys, overpriced SEO consultants, tracking software. You can get rid of Google analytics, or you can integrate Google analytics with your carrot system. Uh, get rid of WordPress plugins. You're never gonna have to deal with updating plugins ever again. Get rid of hosting. You're never gonna have to word, uh, we'll deal with bad hosting. We have the fastest hosting in the industry uh, by far. There's a third party study that rated us as the fastest website platform anywhere in their study, except for Google's own websites. We crushed Playster, crushed all of them. Okay, guys, fast websites is important. SEO courses, get rid of all this stuff. It's all built into Carrot and or we have resources that help you do these things, okay? And also you have a free SSL certificate uh, for the life of your website. Well, we update those all the time, all right? So you'll be able to do, you'll be able to, to dive in and use our SEO suite to track your keywords, get SEO suggestions, uh, hop on our weekly coaching calls as long as you're on one of, on the advanced marketer plan or content pro plan. Uh, and you're going to be able to then also leverage that content marketing suite we talked about that has video posts, the tool that turns your YouTube videos into written content for you automatically. You just have to film the videos and get them in YouTube and then paste, paste the URL and that's it. Takes it from 40 minutes down to four minutes for you. And you can put those out weekly and over time you're going to start to build that authority. Okay. So if you already have a carrot account, if you already have a carrot account, guys, uh, go here, go to carrot.com forward slash grow carrot.com forward slash grow. If you've already got a carrot account, uh, definitely don't go through the link that is a new customer link because it's going to try to create you a brand new account and it won't work very well. Okay. You're going to get like some error message and say it won't work. So don't do that. If you're an existing carrot member and you want this offer, go to carrot.com forward slash grow. I'm going to walk you through the full offer here in a bit. But for a care account, uh, if you're on the content pro plan, as an example, that's 99 a month, we will upgrade your account to advanced marketer for four months. Okay. We'll include four months of the advanced marketer plan price in there. So you won't have to pay the, the 199 a month uh, just for that. After the four months, it will renew at the normal monthly rate for advanced marketer at 199 a month, but you can always downgrade uh, all that. But our aim is to give you enough time to really execute the plan to where you start to see those results happen and you see the value in those features, but you can always downgrade or cancel if you find it's not a fit.
Okay. Uh, we're going to give you those. We're going to pause your billing for four months, upgrade you to the advanced marketer plan, unlock all the features and give you the bonuses. I'm going to walk through here in a second. Just go to carrot.com forward slash grow. Okay. Uh, Tyler, I know we've talked about Tyler a good bit on here, but he's an agent and investor and he just crushes it. He's like the epitome of, of like my perfect client. I love the dude. Uh, I said, I was honestly nervous about switching over. I'm a full-time agent and investor and my livelihood was based on the number one SEO ranking I already had and I couldn't lose it. But I made the leap after researching a ton and realized uh, that carrots the best and couldn't be happier. I not only retained that number one ranking, but gained others. Plus my conversion rate went up and my leads doubled. The ROI has been amazing and I'm closing another $30,000 profit deal next week. Guys, that was a while ago that he posted that and he has these all of the time now. Okay. Now I want to show you this one, Tom Townsend, who's an investor first uh, and an agent. I originally got into real estate as an investor. I came out of the corporate world, started buying and flipping. Then we really got into the sales end of it right around 2013. I needed to build a system that was still going to generate enough business without me physically having to be on the phone or one of our, you know, our agents too. Listen, I, I've had agents on our team, they get burned out. We ended up transitioning over to another base that allowed us to do it, but it was so cumbersome. It was just, it was very time consuming. It didn't have the tools and the platform to really be able to make it an efficient site that we could, we could really manage. It just wasn't working for us. So we kind of abandoned that. And I was receiving emails from an investor here locally in the Atlanta area. And I thought they were great. I was like, wow, oh, these are really, these are really good. And he's really consistent with this. So at the very bottom, I was like, all right, where are these coming from? And it was like powered by Carrot. And I was like, all right, I got to figure out who these Carrot guys are. So I dove in there and I started doing a little bit of research and your solution just made sense for my size, but I have aspirations to grow. So I felt like you guys really fit with where I was at right now. And still you could provide me that growth long-term. Mm -hmm. You know, we all had heard about SEO and, probably didn't spend a lot of time on researching it and really figuring it out, but you really boiled it down and made it really simplistic for us to understand. If you really want to take your business and generate leads and follow-up systems online, you need to have a platform to build it on. This pandemic that we're in has escalated the speed of the need for technology to get online. So I am so happy where we're at and being able to stay in front of competition that we have here hopefully. Guys, one of the things I love so much about that Tom Townsend one is he made the shift earlier this year. And like I showed earlier uh, in the call, he made the shift in May. He's got hundreds of leads since then, but he didn't sit on his, 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 his hands. He, he did the work. He put in the work. He went through our 30 day challenge and he executed the 30 day challenge. We're going to give you guys, everyone who takes this package, you're going to get the 30 day challenge for free. He's been executing the three lead per day training, which is helping you to get your website ranked higher on Google. You're going to get that three lead per day training for free in this package. Okay. And he's just executing the heck out of, heck out of it because he fully committed saying, I'm no longer looking back this way. I don't want to have my agents burn out having a cold call all the time. I know that this, this is the way is my future and I'm going to nail it. And so he's starting to hit it hard. Ah, let me get out of this page here. There we go. <laughs> Christina, uh, we're closing at least two deals a month from our carrot side. The leads we get from SEO in our carrot site are consistently the best, most motivated leads. Conversion rates better than any of our other marketing channels and they take less time and energy and resources to close. We're closing at least two deals a month from our carrot site. And the beautiful thing about these leads is the longer we've had our site, the cheaper the cost gets. Carrot is a no brainer. She's in Los Angeles. So guys, this is, is designed for investors. It's designed, designed for agents. The majority of our clients right now are real estate investors. That is our bread and butter. That's where we've absolutely helped people crush it. But in the past year and a half to two years, we've been helping serve agents in a big way. And we're investing a lot of resources to help real estate agents wholesalers, flippers, landlords, rent to own land and note investors. We're helping a lot of people in the real estate world make this, make this happen. So what you're going to get is this. Let's get to the bottom line here. You're going to get four months of the advanced marketer plan uh, fully included in this. That's a, four, a, a real $796 value. Like it's a real $796 savings is what it is because we're going to waive those four payments of $199 a month. Okay. After that, then it's going to renew it the normal $199 a month plan unless we hear from you to downgrade or cancel. You're going to get free tuition to the 30 day challenge that Tom went through and thousands of our other clients have gone through to help you get a jump start on it. Every single day for 30 days, we're going to give you a little bit of homework 
to help build out that authority hub, to help get your first leads. We're going to give you some ads on Facebook to get your first buyer leads if you're an agent. We're going to give you ads for Google ads and, and on Facebook if you're looking for your first seller leads. Okay, we're going to help you to walk through and nail your company mission. We're going to help you to, to, to coach you through getting your first location pages built out, your first video post. If you want to be held by the hand with a group of about uh, several dozen other investors and agents, then this challenge is for you. We're going to waive your tuition, which is normally $100 by itself, but the value is way higher than that. Okay. We're going to go through week one is mindset and your marketing plan. Okay. Week two is going to, then going to be um, uh, launching your carrot side of your carrot hub. If you haven't already launched it yet, getting your testimonials, building up your credibility. Week three is really building that foundation. Let's get your location pages nailed uh, and some other things. Week four, we're going to drive traffic. Okay. In week four, uh, this here came from Deanna. I just want to let you know, I got my first lead after the 30 day challenge. The lead came in on July 4th called right, right away. And so far I've talked to them, but it may turn into something. He told me he searched from a local company that buys houses. Well, he found me since I uh, made the personalized changes, the 30 day challenge recommended. Thanks care. I'm on my way. Okay guys, so you're going to get the four months free of the advanced marketer plan. You're going to get the 30 day tuition uh, waived for the 30 day, or the free tuition for the 30 day challenge. I can't talk said too many words. You're going to get full access to the three lead per day training. This is our core training for search engine optimization. You can go through it yourself or you can outsource it to a, to a, a VA. But this came from Keith Samp. Uh, Keith sent this through. He said, yesterday was my first three organic lead day, uh, two SEO leads, one Google My Business. Uh, right there, guys. He said he joined the three lead per day training a little over a year ago. And he said, I'm so pumped and I'm not slowing down. He's an investor out of Seattle and he's absolutely crushing it. And Keith, dude, you're one of my favorite guys ever. I love you to death, man. In this training, it's a six module training that's gonna go through search engine optimization from beginner to advanced. Uh, it's gonna even go through a little bit of paper, Google pay-per-click training and some quick traffic hacks as well and how to outsource it if you don't wanna do the work yourself. That's normally $99, the value is well over 500, but we charge 99 for it, you're gonna get that for free. We're also gonna give you a training that's a, a combination of some trainings we've we've done in the past is on the hybrid model. Okay. The hybrid model, if you're an agent and an investor, how do you do that successfully? Well, we're going to, we, we've compiled some of the best videos and resources that we have on this topic, and we're going to give them to you for free as well in this. If as an, as a real estate agent, if you're throwing away your leads, which is about 20% of those sellers, if you're throwing away your leads of people that, that need to repair their home or they're in situations where they need to sell faster. Those are some of your largest profits that you're just walking away from. If you're a real estate investor, you're probably throwing away 80% of your seller leads because 80% of them want retail. And so you can add multiple six figures a year, potentially an extra income or at least uh, tens of thousands in extra income by becoming both. We'll show you how to do it in this training. Uh, number four, we're going to give you 10% off the marketplace. If you want us to do any of the work for you, if you want us to go and build out your location pages for you or do some of the SEO work or build out the, the concierge setup where we do all your design and just make it so it's hands off for you, you're going to get 10% off of any of our internal services in that marketplace. Okay. This is kind of what we're going to be diving into the hybrid model. There's a video with Jeff Fassett and Tyler Ford, both Arizona investor agents, where they walk through how they're uh, turning trash leads into six-figure businesses as hybrids. Down here, Anthony Beckham and Robert Grand in Oregon, uh, how they're uh, ad adapting. They're both uh, agent first and then uh, investor second, how they're adding in multiple tens of thousands, or in Robert's case, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in extra revenue from the hybrid model. And then Eric Young up here in Denver, uh, he's an investor first with his license. And he at any given time has somewhere between 12 and 14 deals going on at, at once through the carrot system uh, as a hybrid. And he's absolutely crushing it. So you're going to be able to go through those trainings if you want to learn the hybrid model a little bit better. So we're going to give you that. Now we're, we have a bonus for the first 25 people. And I'm going to walk through that here in a second. But if anyone's interested in this, I know this is a long training. I crammed probably way too much into this training. That's something that I'm guilty of. And I need to go back to my team and say, guys, how do we trim like 30 slides out of this next time? Uh, but I probably give a little bit too much, uh, but I appreciate you guys for hanging on. Go to carrot.com forward slash plant, carrot.com forward slash plant. If you're not a carrot member yet and you want to join, if you think that this can change your business trajectory, if you think that this can change your life potentially by getting you off of the hamster wheel and onto more evergreen so you can really enjoy your business more, you can gain more consistency, more predictability, more freedom so you can make a greater impact. Guys, one of the coolest things, so going back to Keith Sant, like I talked about a bit ago, uh, he's been to Carrot Camp a couple times. It's an event that we do two times a year here at, at our HQ. He um, has been in the podcast. 
He was a brand new investor just a couple of years ago, and he is he's having six, seven, eight, nine, ten deal months now. Guys, six figure months are not uncommon for Keith right now uh, on, on that side of it. One thing that he did recently, we had a, a tragedy where we had some big wildfires down here in Oregon. And because Keith is starting to get a lot more of that evergreen and he's able to dial his hours down a lot from before, he's working less now than he was before. Guys, he ponied up for a massive donation to help a local um, small business that I care a lot about that's just in massive hurt right now. He was able to cut a check. We got it yesterday. And I'm looking at it just going, oh my gosh, guys, this is why I do business. I do business so I can help you guys create businesses of freedom and impact, of freedom and impact. And it's coming full circle for Keith. And I want to help you guys do the same thing. Let's go to care.com forward slash plant, care.com forward slash plant if you're a new member, care.com forward slash grow if you're an existing member and you want this bonus, uh, you want the bonuses and the offer. But it's only $9.97 today. And then after the four months, then it renews at uh, the $199 a month plan rate. At any time, if you find it's not a fit, you can cancel, you can, you can, um, uh, you can downgrade your account to a different different plan if you want to. But our aim is if you use the tools, if you get your onboarding call with us, if you use the tools, you hop on the coaching calls and you ask questions, you execute the plan, that within four months, you should have some really, really good momentum going. Okay, but like I said, $9.97 today, that's over $7,000 value with the four months included. Guys, the four months alone is worth $7.96. So all the bonuses together are only, what is that? It's only about 100 and, uh, 110 bucks or so, uh, two, two, 200 bucks maybe, okay? All of those bonuses are only about 200 bucks and they're massive, massive value. So I've got a couple other things. Here's a question. How many leads and deals are you okay with losing this year? Okay, guys, I want you to really look at that. If you've already got a website, a broker provided site, or you're an investor and you have one of our competitors or a custom site like Carter, how many leads and deals are you okay with losing this year because of underperformance? If the answer is zero, then I want to ask you, what are you doing about that right now to lead into the new year? Well, if you choose that Carrot is that path, uh, we give a 30-day guarantee. So after you sign up today, you log in, you launch that first site, you'll dig in, you'll get your onboarding call set up, you'll get access to the bonuses, we'll get through the holidays, you start to dig in and do some of that work. If you find out on day 29 or the morning of day 30, and you're like, you know what? This just isn't for me. I'm not ready to commit. I'm not ready to commit to making this shift. Uh, just hit us up and, uh, and, and we'll definitely process that refund for you. We'll part ways for now. And if you find it's better uh, fit down the road, then we'd love to work with you again. But there's a 30-day guarantee. We have no reason to work with people that that is not right time for. I don't need your money. I don't need the extra thousand dollars in my bank account. It's not going to change my life whatsoever. But making this decision could change yours if you execute the plan. And we're a bit different, guys. Do your research. Look in bigger pockets. Look online. We're not a newbie to the game. We're not someone that is selling based on hype. We sell, we sell based on performance. We sell based on purpose, based on mission, based on results. Okay. And we focus on performance and we try to deliver the best customer experience we possibly can. All right, guys. We want you to become part of the Carrot community. Uh, so what's one extra closed deal per year worth to you? If your, extra, if your average profit per deal is $8,000, write that on a piece of paper. One extra deal for you is worth eight grand. If it's 20 grand, write that down, one extra deal. Okay, is it 5K? Is it, it, what about two extra deals? What about three extra deals? How much could it change your life if you were to get three, five, 10, 12, 20, 30 extra deals over the next 24 months and start to gain back more of your time, start to get more momentum? We'll go to carrot.com forward slash plant. If you're looking to join carrot, get that momentum before the new year and uh, dive in. So you have two choices right now. First option is I uh, can do nothing. That's a total viable option, right? You can you can choose to go, man, it's not the right timing for me. I'm just not ready to commit. I'm not ready to to, to change my business for the for the for the for the better. I'm not really to, not ready to dive in and add evergreen yet. I'm gonna keep on the hamster wheel. We can totally choose to do nothing and don't take the leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free, by the way. Uh, and that's option number one. Option number two, just, you just jump in, guys. It's risk-free. Jump in, get started, test it out, dive in and get your onboarding call, dive into the 30-day challenge, go through the challenge. And at the end of it, if you're like, this is just not right for me, guys, let us know. Once again, we'll fully refund your money. You got the guarantee. Carrot.com forward slash plant. Okay. So I'm just going to recap right here. First 20 people is going to get this bonus. Uh, if you're looking for highly motivated house sellers, uh, one of the best ways to get it in that first three to six months while you're evergreen marketing and starting to grow, the SEO is growing, is Google ads if you're looking for highly motivated sellers. Um, and this works if you're uh, an investor or a hybrid investor agent. Okay, these ads will not work great for just the pure agent because the ads are really for a house purchase. Okay, 
So for, for the first 20 people, we're going to give you our internal ads campaign. It's our campaign that we use every time we're going to launch a campaign for a client or for ourselves. And this campaign has helped our clients bring in well over $1.2 million in profits uh, with this campaign alone over the last five to six years. It's got all the ads, all the ad copy, all of the, um, ad, all, all the keywords, all the negative keywords. It's got everything. And it's got a video that's going to walk you through on how to upload this into your Google Ads account. If you were to pay us to do this, we would charge you a loan for this bonus. We would charge you nearly $1,000 to have us set this all up for you to go through and do a call with you, a follow-up call with you, and make sure you're all set up. So we said, we're going to throw it in this bonus here where you get access to it at no cost as a part of this package. Uh, as long as you can go through that video, you can set it up yourself. And if you need help, hit up our support. Okay, the first 20 get access to this just so we don't completely saturate the world with this campaign. Uh, there are others that have this, but the first 20 on, on this exact training, get access to it. Just go to carrot.com forward slash plant or carrot.com forward slash grow if you're an existing carrot customer. Okay. So right here, it's the last slide. I'll answer a couple of questions. I'm over time a little bit. I think I'm actually late to a podcast right now, <laughs> but uh, um, what you're going to get, y'all, you know, once again, I'll go through it this last time, four months of the advanced marketer plan, that's $796 in actual monthly fees waived, okay? The $199 a month times four is completely waived for four months, okay? Uh, you're going to get the 30-day authority building challenge tuition waived. You can dive right into the challenge. We're going to help you through the next 30 days and get things set up and get momentum going. You're going to get the full access to the three lead per day training for SEO. You can do it or hand it off to someone to do it for you. You're going to get the hybrid training. If you are a hybrid and you want to learn how to do that better and add on more income to your bottom line in 2021 and serve your clients better, 10% off of any of our services that we do in the marketplace, the ads campaign for the first 20 people, you're going to get access to our video post feature, our automated content feature. And this is a bonus for agents specifically. If you're a real estate agent, <clears throat> what we're going to do with this offer is we're going to waive your first 12 months of IDX fees, which is about 50 bucks a month. This does not include any pass through fees from your local IDX. That's something that they're all different and we can't include that because we don't know what those costs are going to be for each person. But we're going to waive the monthly fees for the first 12 months, which is $600 in real savings as long as you stay on the advanced marketer plan. If you downgrade to a different plan, then that, that monthly fee is going to be added back to your account. But as long as you stay on that advanced marketer plan, we're going to waive those for you for the first 12 months. Now, there is a setup fee. So the setup fee we can't waive uh, because uh, uh, that's a couple hundred bucks where we dive in, we build out those pages for you. We build out your searches for you. We get it put into your website, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a hard cost for us on that, that we have to pay the IDX broker and our team does some pretty heavy lifting to get it all set up for you. But we are going to waive the $600 in monthly, uh, in, in monthly fees over the course of 2021 as a part of this bonus, as long as you stay in the 199 month plan. Okay. Go to care.com forward slash plant, care.com forward slash plant. If you're a new person coming in or care.com forward slash grow, if you want to upgrade and get access to the same offer. Once again, if you're an existing customer, we're going to pause your billing for four months. We're going to upgrade you to advanced market. We'll give you all these bonuses. And then when that four months is up, it'll just automatically renew at the, at the advanced marketer price. You can always downgrade later if you want to and, and retain these bonuses, except for the monthly IDX fees waived. If you downgrade uh, later, then that, that will get back added to the account. Guys, I have time for a couple questions. Uh, and let's dive into it. Uh, Ryan, awesome, man. Uh, account upgraded. I love it. Um, right here. So Marie says, how much is the concierge? The concierge Marie uh, is way cheaper than going and having a custom website built and a way better result. Uh, what we can do Marie is we can connect you with our, our, um, product specialists, but the concierge, depending on what you're looking for is right around that $3,000 mark. But then you take 10% off, uh, that you're going to get with this offer in the marketplace that puts it at the 2,700 mark. And that includes us going through and doing amazing design on your site. Here's a concierge right here. Uh, let me just show you this right here. This is a concierge site uh, where our team went in and just made it look awesome. They're one of the top real estate agents in Spokane. And uh, this is a concierge site. So, so you get a lot of custom touch on that uh, website. It takes the, the carrot uh, uh, high performing framework, builds in your look feel. We write the content for it. We, we create your first 10 location pages. Uh, all that kind of stuff. We have two uh, coaching calls with you, the whole thing. That's around three grand. You take get 10% off with this offer, 2,700. Uh, or there are other options as well, Marie, or there's kind of a middle of the road one that's about a third of that price uh, for agents. Yep, for sure. Really good question. Um, awesome, Ryan. Ryan says, how long I know if it was one of the first 20? Uh, you were, dude. So you, you were definitely one of the first 20. 
Uh, so congrats there. We got you. We got you. We got you. Um, let's see. Robert says on your um, plan page, uh, what if, uh, what does you do if you cancel the membership? Do IDX fees still apply? I'm not hundred percent on that question. So if you cancel your membership at carrot, you would then also cancel your IDX fees with us. And so those would stop too. Uh, if, if that's the question you're asking, um, Alexander says, can we get some help as an agent with setting up Google My Business to, to rank as a top agent in there? Really good question, man. Um, that's not a service that we have internally, but it's something that um, that there are a lot of resources out there that you guys can find. Like Upwork.com has great resources for that kind of a thing. We do have training that teaches you how to do it. Uh, we have training that teaches you how to do that, and that's in the three lead per day training. You'll get that training. and It'll teach you how to do the Google My Business, but we don't have a service that does it. Um, but Up, Upwork is a great resource for that, okay? Uh, Lynette, uh, you pay nine ninety nine ninety seven even if you're already a member. Yes. So the reason that there is a fee, if even if you're already a member, is because we upgrade you to an advanced marketer, and then we waive the advanced marketer fees for four months. So advanced marketer currently is one ninety nine a month, and so we would essentially be waiving seven hundred ninety six dollars in payments. Um, if we didn't collect a payment up front, we would lose a ton of money on our end, and we wouldn't be able to support the product very well. So yeah, it's nine ninety seven up front. We'll waive seven hundred and ninety six dollars in those monthly payments over the next four months. So then it really, uh, really here's the decision for you, Lynette, is nine ninety seven minus seven ninety six. You know what is that? That's uh, about a hundred and it's about two hundred bucks. Okay. So the decision is, do you see two hundred dollars in value in these items here? And then the last thing is, since this isn't, this is right now, it, it could be a last minute tax write off that could potentially help save you on some taxes. If, if that's something that you were looking for. So yeah, essentially uh, you would be paying X price and then you'd be looking at this and saying, okay, are these bonuses worth that couple hundred bucks for me over and above what I would normally pay uh, since you're already a member. Awesome. Uh, Michelle said exactly what I'm looking for, agent investor. I love distressed properties. I love it. Uh, so one thing on the, on the investor and agent side of things, guys, I just want to make sure I'm very clear and transparent. <clears throat> the way that the product is currently built is they are two separate subscriptions. There's uh, separate products in there. And the reason for that is, is we have all the content marketing tools that are built into them. All the articles our team writes, we write separate articles for agents, separate articles for investors. We have different resources for both to serve you well, because there's a lot of overlap, but there are clear differences too. And so if you're wanting both, you would come in and join at the 997 at whatever's your primary. So if you're an agent first, you would join and click that link to select agent. And that would sign you up as the, as, with the agent plan. And then if you, as you get that built up and you get used to it and you get results from it, you can always add the investor plan to it, uh, which would be um, essentially another, you know, one, 100 to $200 a month where you would unlock all the investor website designs, all the investor content, all that stuff. Okay. So just want to make sure that everyone's very clear on that, that with the 997, you're joining at whatever plan is your primary plan, the investor or the agent. And then um, if you wanted to add on any add-ons, like going and unlocking all the resources for the other, uh, it is an extra one, but we have a lot of clients doing that. Anthony Beckham's one of them. A lot of clients who are both the investor and agent uh, doing it in a big way. So Anthony, Anthony closes somewhere between 50 and a hundred thousand dollars a year in profits on his investor side of it through Google AdWords and his investor sites. And then he, he's the number three largest agent in the market uh, on the agent side of it. Okay, so he's building a big profit on both for sure. Good question. I just wanna make sure I'm, I was clear on that. Um, oh, awesome, cool, Annette, welcome back, love it. Uh, Jeanette, uh, there, there isn't a payment plan on this one, but I think the best thing is if, if the 997 isn't a fit, which I totally understand it won't be for everybody, probably the best thing to do is go directly to our website and just go to carrot.com forward slash plans, uh, carrot.com forward slash plans and grab whatever plan fits the current budget that you've got. And um, we have offers like the one I'm doing now from time to time. And so if you're an agent, you would just go ahead and click agent and then you would select whatever plan you'd like. So you can do the 99 a month. And then if you wanna add on IDX, you can add that on. Um, or this one unlocks all the advanced marketer features and you can add on IDX if you want to. Or if you're an investor, you just go choose that one. So that's the 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 option if you're looking for a monthly payment, uh, but it wouldn't include the bonuses, of course. Really good question though. Okay, I'm gonna answer one more question, y'all, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, my voice is about gone. Okay, 
Awesome, Lisa. Amazing. Just upgraded my account. Ready to go. Let's do it. Uh, Minnesota Home Brothers. I love it. Carrot, total game changer. Guys, this is amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and, and there is a question here. If you if you took the Cyber Monday promo, hit up support and say, hey, I'd love to take this offer that Trevor's talked about in the webinar, but I've got this. They'll figure something out. I can tell you, honestly, we don't, we didn't talk about it. That's a, that's a scenario we, we didn't think about. Well, we'll get you taken care of though. Okay. Um, let me see if there's another couple questions up top. All right, cool guys. Um, over right here, Aster. I'm a current advanced marketer uh, member as an investor for my carrot site. How does it work if I also want to do the agent site? So what you would do y'all is, is essentially this. So I'm going to log into Anthony's account here. And if I was an agent and I wanted to add on the investor or vice versa, you log into your account, you go up here to account and click the account link. And then you would go to um, da, 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 upgrade your membership. Okay. So go, you go to upgrade your membership. And then I think it's in here. Where is it? Update membership. Okay. And when you're in here, then you're able to, you're able to, he, he's on annual billing. He's, he's getting a discount on the annual. But then in there, unless you're on annual, you'd be able to add on uh, the other plan type in there. Yeah. Really good question. Awesome. Well, guys and gals, I'm going to wrap. Um, Oh, what's the deadline for the offer? Thank you. I, I didn't say that. I should have said that. I'm a very bad salesperson. So the deadline for the offer is Sunday midnight. So we're not a high pressure sales uh, people here, guys. Uh, offer ends around 72 hours. It's about Sunday at midnight. And um, like I said, I, I don't sell by pressure. There's no incentive for me to sell by pressure. There's no reason to. Um, whenever you sell by pressure and hit emotion hard, uh, it oftentimes leads in that person not being ready to commit to it. And so we want to make sure people are committed. If you need to do your research, do your research. If you need to really decide if you're committed and really look at your plan for the year, do it. You've got a few days to do that and still get this offer. Uh, but this will close uh, Sunday at midnight. And then we're going to head into the new year and celebrate and uh, help you guys crush it. So thank you guys very much. Go to carrot.com forward slash plant. If you're a new member, uh, select agent or investor, depending on which one is the primary business. You can always add on the other one later uh, for an extra add on or um, go to carrot.com forward slash grow. If you're an existing customer already and you want to do this, existing customers will wait, will upgrade you to advanced marketer, will waive your four months of payments. Uh, you won't be billed for four months. That's a $796 real savings. We'll unlock all the bonuses for you and we'll get going and we'll head into the new year. Guys, thank you very much. Lynette, you're so kind. Thank you guys. Have an amazing rest of the week. I want to see you guys win big in 2021. And I'm not talking about winning big as it, as, as far as like increasing your income uh, way more than you need to. This is one last thing I'll say. Increase your income is a result of doing this, but I don't want anyone to go into the new year when you're planning saying, well, my coach told me that me just making $200,000 a year, I'm not thinking big enough. Guys, if $200,000 a year gets you exactly what you want in life, it gets you the freedom you want to have. If $200,000 a year gets you the exact impact you want to make and you have your time back, guys, you sh that is exactly how big your business should be right now. Okay. If a million a year is going to help you get the impact you want to make and all that, then awesome. I aim for bigger and let's, let's dial it in for it. We have many clients that are earning seven figures a year. Okay. If you're right now not even started and you're like, I just want to make my first 25 grand, then amazing. Set that goal. We're going to be here with you along the way. It's going to be a lot of hard work. Okay. This is hard work, y'all. This is not push button. This is not carrots going to do all the work for me. This is we're making everything way easier for you. And we're going to be here along for the ride with you. And we're going to encourage you. We're going to help you. Okay. But you've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the commitment. If you're willing to commit to us, we're willing to commit to you. Go to carrot.com forward slash plant, carrot.com forward slash plant. And uh, we'd love to help you. Carrot.com forward slash grow if you're an existing customer. Guys, thank you. Love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing night. Yes, Pacific time on uh, Sunday. On Sunday. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.